What's going on, everybody? How are we doing on a wonderful, wonderful Sunday evening? Uh, some people, I guess, still ah, still early evening, right? Even though on the West Coast. Hopefully, you guys are doing well, staying safe, all that good stuff. Uh, welcome to the Luau Show for um, whatever it is, May something, something. Uh, say hello to some people. Unboxing Treasures, Jay, what's going on? Cliff, how are you? Jeremy Knapp. Tats, how are you? Christina Payne, how are you? So we have unboxings tonight. Uh, we're going to go through a lot of like soda toppers too. Um, I have three different ones. So we're gonna, I'm going to show you some of those, um, some of the ones that I do and use. We have a bunch of unboxings to get, go through. And then at 10 o'clock, we're going to be joined by Mr. Snowden, Kevin Snowden from Mr. Snowden's Neighborhood um, Moderators. If you guys want to link up his channel, I would appreciate it. All right. If you want to link up his channel, I would appreciate it. Mr. Snowden's Neighborhood is the channel. Go give him a follow. Check him out. A great collector. If you guys are familiar with, of course, the Bearded Pop Hunter, Pop Savage, the intro rap on both of their videos is done by Mr. Snowden himself. Yes. So we're going to get a chance to talk to him, collecting, pops, music, pop culture, well, you know, a little bit of everything. I want to also give a big shout out pop force one so my pop force one bundle came in um the hockey jersey etc uh we got the little dog tag we have all the little soda pogs again big shouts out to professor josh rock and row the pop and duo and slap shot pops awesome i got my little coaster um my soda deck and my hockey puck all uh from them a great event uh pop force one con um done so big shout out to them awesome 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 all right we do have a head-to-head -head battle so um let's see is pop harbor in the in the building if pop harbor's in the building we can go because we do have uh boxes to do uh pop harbor was a winner from two weeks ago i got a hold of curtis and he did send some over so i have them ready to go we'll wait till see if pop harbor is here and can pick what box they would like Yes. Also, don't forget, next week we have uh, a special guest all the way from Australia going to join me. So when it's 10 o'clock here for JT, JT's Funko Finds, check her out. If you have not already, it's a favorite channel of mine. Um, it's actually 10 o'clock in the morning Monday for her, but she's going to join us next Sunday night for me, next Monday morning for her. JT's Funko Finds. I can't wait. That is next week. Don't want to miss that. We also have some great guests coming up. McDork's Pop's going to come join me. Two boys and their pops. I also have Dark Parlor Originals. Mike, owner, proprietor of Dark Parlor Originals, going to join me in June as well. Uh, and don't forget, Dark Parlor Originals has some awesome stuff going on from Elvira. Uh, tomorrow, William Shatner. Uh, tomorrow, they release Ralph Macchio autograph Funko Pop pre-orders that will ship out in July. And there are, I think, two... Um, uh, add-ons that you can put to that i think bonsai is one i can't remember the other one but uh decent prices on ralph macchio autograph funko pops so uh check that out tomorrow one o'clock on dark parlor originals all right did we have pop harbor in the building nick how are you doing all right pop harbor's here so let me get the box again we have unboxings to do we have giveaways to do we have a, this shirt to do Remember, if you saw the video from Monday with the autographed Jason Muse, uh, we're going to give this 4X shirt away to somebody from that uh, from that video. Uh, we will do that and weekly giveaways and all that good stuff. All right. Um, let's do this one. So this is the head-to-head. -head. Pop Harbor in the building. Pop Harbor, are you ready? You choose the box number, and away we go. Uh, da -da 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 -da. How is everyone doing tonight? And uh, don't forget this week, uh, for those of you who love the father-son box battles, you are going to see the biggest father-son box battle we've ever done. Uh, $500 mystery boxes from Toy USA this Wednesday, 3 p.m. Eastern. You don't want to miss it. And I will give something away. One of the two of us hits the top box out of the 25 or 30 box run. The number one box, um, one of us hits. That's all I'll say. 
All right. Pop Harbor, number two. All right, Pop Harbor, and I think uh, I think you said you want me to go first, or you want to go first. Uh, okay, you want to open yours first, I think. All right, so number two, that one is yours. Number one, this one is mine. All right, we'll put the box over there. All right, Pop Harbor wants to go first. So let me get our handy dandy hobby DB app up. All right, box number one. I'll put that off to the side. Here we go. Box number two. Are we ready? Pop Harbor. Good luck. Good luck. What is Pop Harbor going to draw on this one? Yeah, everyone loves the father son battle. Yeah, he gets funny. But yeah, this one, it's an interesting one. All right, here we go. Shout out to Curtis. It's Bats of Collectibles. And Pop Harbor's pop is going to be, it is a Walmart exclusive Doc Holiday from Tombstone. Eh, kind of cool. Um, I know, believe it or not, I've not seen Tombstone. I know, I should watch it, but I don't. I haven't watched it yet. Um, let's see, so there's three sub variants. There is a special edition at 10. The Walmart exclusive, 30 bucks. So Pop Harbor starting off good, thirty dollars. Oof, that might be a tough one to get to. Tough one for me to beat. All right, here we go. Also, if you like the seven bucks a pop one, the seven bucks a pop one Doc Holiday uh, from Val Kilmer is one hundred thirty-five dollars. All right, my pop is uh, Clay Moreau from Sons of Anarchy. So an older one, two thousand fourteen on this one, but I got to beat thirty dollars. I don't know if I can do that. I don't know Sons of Anarchy. Um, let's see. Clay Moreau right now. Here we go. And this one was one heck of a close battle. $32. So, 32 to 30 I edge out Pop Harbor by $2 on Clay Moreau. But nobody is ever a loser. Uh, Pop Harbor, hit me on Instagram. You have the... Uh, We've talked on Instagram. Message me your address, and uh, I will send you something. Because no one is ever a loser. So big shouts out, Pop Harbor. Thank you so much for the challenge, and congratulations on the win. Let's see. We got the Taco Man in the building. Uh, and again, very sorry, guys, for Thursday. Um, this was a shutdown week for me at work. It didn't go well. It was a very, very rough week. So we had to postpone Thursday's live. And coming up this week, we might have to postpone again Due to the fact of uh, May, my, my daughter's in dance, and it is the finals of dance. So it is like dance class and rehearsals for the next two weeks. And Thursday night, uh, I have her dance rehearsal till like 7.45 at night. And then uh, there's a dad dance. And yes, uh, a bunch of us dads get together and make a fool of ourselves on stage for the girls. Um, and I'm doing it this year. And it's interesting. Uh, I don't know if there'll be a video of it, though. I don't know if I'll sh ever share that. But uh, I have practice on that till like 9.30 on Thursday night. So I'm talking to Sean. We might postpone another week. So just sorry about that, guys. Uh, well, May, is a, it's, a tough, it's a tough month. It's a tough month. Anyway, again, Pop Harbor, congratulations on that one. All right. Um, I, have some, I have some openings to do. We're going to hit some openings. We have some giveaways, all that good stuff. Somebody sent me this um, from Novelty Toys and Stuff, Money Grubbers. So there that is. Um, don't know much about it. But um, uh, they basically say they like your challenge. I uh, like the channel. Great content. Here's a free gift for you. Compliments of the chef, the Mystic Conch Shell is a non-canon parody of the magic cunt shell from spongebob pull the string until you click and it'll answer yes or no and questions so there that is and this all comes from uh as you can see novelty toys and stuff money grubbers so if you want to check them out put that over there and here is the magical cunt shell i can say yes but the consequences will be dire Mm -hmm. So you better not. Oh, good advice. Do you ever wonder 
if there is more to life than just giving yes or no answers. Is this all that I am? I have deemed it to be so. Interesting. <laughs> So we'll keep that and we'll have some fun with that one. So big shout out, Money Grubbers. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, what else? Are we? Uh, let's open this one up. Again, don't forget, 10 o'clock, Mr. Snowden's Neighborhood going to join me. Guys, if you have not checked out his channel, moderators, please link it. Go over and give him a follow. Very awesome dude. And like I said, if you hear the rap in the beginning of Pop Savage's videos and the beginning of the Bearded Pop Hunter's videos, um, that is him. Kevin Snowden. So this one comes from, uh, and I've seen so many people open this up, so that's why I figure I will open it up live with you guys. Uh, this comes from Spastic Collectibles. Use code Luau. Save yourself 10%. Uh, but this is one that is um, an exclusive to Spastic Collectibles. It is Orca and Friends. Uh, you've seen a couple from Martian Toys. You've seen a couple different people open this up, so... Uh, I figure I'll do it live. And there you can sort of see the Spastic Collectibles exclusive three magnetic friends. Um, and they are, if you use a black light, very, very cool. So if you would like one of these, go check out Spastic Collectibles and use code Luau and save yourself 10% off that. Uh, it also works on the drop and all the sodas. I mean, the sodas this week. What do you guys think? Um, Sloth, Neo, a couple other ones. Very cool. Um, I know people would say, oh, you gotta love sloth. I'll be honest with you. I don't love sloth. I don't like, I don't like it. I, I don't, I don't, um, I don't know what it is. I, I don't know if it's the face, the representation of it. it. It just does nothing for me. Um, I probably will get it, uh, but I'm not a fan of it. Um, same sort of goes for Neo. I, I kind of like the Neo one, but I'm not in love with it. You know what I mean? It just, I don't know. This, it's okay. It's okay. I didn't see any that I absolutely loved. I thought the Energizer Bunny was very cool, and the Chase was very cool. But, um, yeah, I was on the fence with with Sloth and Neo, and a lot sold out. I mean, Cases sold out at Spastic. Entertainment Earth sold out of those pre-orders. Um, so they sold out very, very quickly. I think due in August, too. So, it, I don't know, Jay. You're right, Jay. They should have put the Superman shirt on him. Um... I understand you probably couldn't. He could not probably be holding a baby Ruth. I get that, but I don't know. The face just, I don't know. It, it was really, really. I, I just really didn't like it. Really didn't like it. Thank you, Christina, for putting uh, the link to Mr. Snowden's channel, Mr. Snowden's neighborhood. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, they are limited to one ninety nine. Yes. Yeah, there are only one hundred ninety nine of them made. However. So I don't know if Curtis got a couple that were not numbered or they are numbered. There's no number on it. So um, it's a spastic collectible sticker, as you can see there. But there is not a, a numbered of them. But I've heard there is 199 of them. I have heard that. All right. So speaking of sodas, I'm going to show you guys something. Um, people have asked all the time, what are the best soda toppers for people that love to display the toppers? Um, and also want to show this one off. Let me turn this on. This was done for me by Flip Cake Designs. So big shouts out to Flip Cake Designs. Uh, let me turn this on. You guys can see it. Or maybe I got to do this. Now it hurts to put the battery on. So yeah, Flip Cake's design did this for me. Um, very, very cool. On a base and lights up. And you can splash it. There we go. Very, very cool. So big shouts out to Flip Cake Designs, who uh, did this whole little etching for me. Really, really like it. Awesome job. Thank you so much, Flip Cake Designs. I love it. And that moves into soda toppers, right? So there's a lot of different soda toppers that you can get. I mean, uh, the big one coming... From what Display Geek, there's going to be a uh, encased version where you can put two sodas encased or put the can and the figure right next to each other encased. Uh, supposedly summer, unknown with price. My guess is they're probably going to be anywhere from 12 13 bucks to probably 20 So probably a little bit of the pricey things. Um, so soda toppers we have right here. This is Flip Cakes design. So Flip Cakes design fits in the, in, in the soda just like that. So it fits almost flush. 
and then you can put the pog there put jack there and there you go you can display it that way that's flip cakes design very cool Again, Flipcakes Design, you can get a hold of him on Instagram, Flipcakes Designs. Check him out. Uh, he also does those. So if you would like a logo or some kind of etching, check him out. He does that, uh, and they're awesome. So big shouts out to Flipcake Designs. The next one I'm going to show you, this is JT Customs. Again, you can follow him on Instagram at JT Customs. Uh, JT's Customs is going metal. So this is this. This is, uh, I'm assuming this is aluminum. You know, a lot nice weight to it. Fits on the soda top just like that. And same thing with the little piece. Pop him in there. Put Jack on there and away you go. And that gives you that look. So it sort of kind of blends in. Gives you a little bit more room and blends in with the top. If you want something like that. I have those as well. Very cool. JT Customs on that one. And again, JT.CustomsLLC on Instagram. If you would like some, check them out. Uh, and then another one, it is, of course, the Soda Dex done by Rock and Row. So, difference with these, uh, again, an acrylic like this fits like that, and you see me top it off. So, it actually fits in the top of the soda can. And the same thing, put your pog in there, away you go, and you can display just like that. Check it out at uh, Rock and Row on Instagram, and you can get those. You can also get some on his packs. Uh, on his whatnot auctions. So check out Rock and Row for that for the soda decks. Uh, JT Customs if you'd like metal. Also check out Flipkick Designs. They are all they all basically accomplish the same thing. They're all just a little bit different. It's just a matter. Do you want metal and a little bit stand out? Do you want a little bit room to fit on the top and then you can actually fit two sodas on top of that? Or do you want it really hidden? It fits right in the top of the soda that it's it doesn't change the profile. Again, each one is different. Each one accomplishes the same thing. Buy what you like, guys. Um, I've used them all. I like them. I like them a lot. Of I use a lot of the soda decks. I have. Uh, I just got some of the flip cake designs, and I just bought some of the JT customs. And prices all range. It just depends. You know, obviously the metal are the more expensive. All right, but I wanted to show those off so you guys can get can see that and show off the flip cakes design, which I think is awesome. So another thing I always like to do is big shout out to everyone that supports the channel and you can support the channel via Patreon. It is located in the bottom of all my videos. Check it out. Uh, we give things away on every month on Patreon. I know some people don't do that. Some people do it quarterly, however they do it. And that's their prerogative. Uh, me, if you support me, I'm going to give something back or I try to every single month. Uh, mystery boxes, popping candies, etc. And you give a shout out. And uh, this is really for you guys. Um, I appreciate it. And uh, thank you for all being a patron.
This message is for the Luau. I'm hope, I hope that I'm saying that right. This message is for the L-U-A-U from John Moxley. And I just wanted to say, thank you for being a fan. Thank you for watching. And it was a pleasure to sign your photo here today. Again, I love that. Uh, shout out to Zobi. Shout out to V Shouts and everything like that that does that. Uh, I love it. So, again, also, uh, there's Flip Cakes Designs. Check them out for custom uh, laser engraving, 3D print night lights, and just sort of like you saw there. Very cool stuff. Flip Cake Designs. Check them out. All right. And I saw you guys were linking uh, all the other good stuff. So, all right. Did I freeze on that one? Let me see. Make sure I didn't know. It should be good. All right. All right. So uh, time for giveaways, right? Time for giveaways. First off, uh, we are going to do the weekly giveaway. So let's go here. Let's go there. Weekly giveaway time, guys. Are we ready? We'll get the comments up. We have 62 comments tonight. And we are going for, we have head-to-head, -head, sort of just like what you saw. Um, uh, we have... The prize wheel, $30 credit, uh, surprise me, mystery box, anything mystery box. Are we ready? Let's do it. All right, here we go. Winner number one. I got to get my pen. Write this stuff down. Winner number one. Congratulations, Linda Knowles. Linda Knowles, congratulations. And we're actually picking three winners tonight because it's a birthday thing. So congratulations. Linda Knowles, hit me up and let me know your prize. She says uh, the live show was very amusing for sure. Thank you and happy late birthday. And yes, this past week was my birthday. Thank you so much for the birthday wishes. Winner number two is Dave Mangabet. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Happy birthday, man. Hoping uh, it'll be lucky enough to win. So Dave, congratulations. Hit me up on Instagram and let me know what you would like and yes yeah, since it's a birthday wheel we're gonna give three people a winner let's give number three and that one is going to be mdc 21 camacho happy birthday looking forward to the 5k and the channel is awesome thank you mdc camacho much appreciated thank you so much all right and we'll put that down there awesome awesome stuff awesome and congratulations three winners for the birthday uh, but hey, we got more. We have more giveaways, and we have Mr. Snowden, and we'll do a quick unboxing too. Um, so let me go into this and let me go share, copy, copy. Yes, 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 yes. We'll go in here, up here. All right, this is what we're going to do for the shirt. All right. Get our YouTube comments for that one. We're sitting at 35 comments for there. And StreamYard. And let's add to the stream. And YouTube comments there. Are we ready? Are we ready? This is for the Jane Simon Bob reboot t-shirt. You have to have the Snoochie to the Moochie, the Moochie to the Gucci, and all that good stuff. All right. Let's see. Do we have a winner? And that winner is going to be... Uh, awesome haul, but he does not have the code. So Julian, I'm sorry. You got to have that snoochy to the mooch or some of that lingo. So second one is going to be Ben Sweeney and Ben does have it. Hashtag snooch to the nooch. So Ben Sweeney, congratulations, Ben. Uh, I know I have your address, but always message me on Instagram. It just helps me keep it, um, keep it together. Awesome. And then since we're while we're on this, I want to show you some releases that came out this week from the Hot Toys game. Look at this. Iron Man from uh, Iron Man Part 2. This thing is insane. Uh, you can get your pre-orders. It is available in deluxe form or regular uh, due out July to September of 2022. So we're about a year away. But this thing is really, really insane. Of course, if you remember from uh, Iron Man Part 2, where everything sort of comes together. Really, really awesome. There you can sort of see Will also be in his racing outfit. Uh, and you can put him, um, of course, with the guy, with the bad guy, uh, which has already been out, already came out this year. 
Really, really awesome figure. I think they really, really nailed it. I think it looks awesome. Uh, can't wait for it. Iron Man Part 2. You could buy the full Iron Man set as well. That is a pre-orderable as well. But that one is out there. Um, so you guys can check that out. There are some other ones that came out as well. If you love the Mando. Let's see if it will show me some of the ones. Let's see. So that is that one. How about Mandal Mando on Blurb? On Blurg? That one available. Um, you have an Echo available. There is another very cool Mando available too. Let's see if I can find it to show you some of the other cool ones that are out there. Uh, maybe they don't have it. Uh, maybe we'll save that for next week. But there's another Mando. I mean, here's Mando and Blurg. Again, this one kind of pricey. Um, $550 on this one, April to June of 2022 on that one. Kind of pricey. Um, you know, depends on what you want to spend. But yeah, he... kind of kind of a pricey one. I, I'm probably not a player on this one. I, I think it's really cool. I like it a lot. But five, eh, $555. I don't know. I'll have to see. I'll have to see. I don't know. I'll see if you guys like it. It's cool. It's cool. But um, let me see if I can show. I know there's another Mando. I know there's another Mando that was uh, really with a very unique base to it. Like here you can buy the blur by himself at 315 But I could have swore there was another one. Hmm. It was a really cool base. It had IG-11 on the base, but again, it was a very expensive one. Yeah. Oh, well. We'll save it for another time. All right. So, got some hot toys for people that love the hot toys. Oh, yeah. The Mando with uh, Child Deluxe. Um... Remember, I, I know this from dealing with StreamYard or dealing with Sideshow. If you do the payment plan, you're always the last one to ship. Uh, I've had the Mando and Child Deluxe two months now, I think. So, but it's always that's the way it works with 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 them. It's really weird. When will the little Luau be on the live? Maybe when school's done, I'll have him on a Sunday night for you guys. Uh, he actually just broke his hand, so he broke his uh, he actually broke his thumb or his pinky. So yeah, he just had he had to, yeah, a long long story, but um, yeah, Lil Luau's a little bit uh, banged up right now. <laughs> Grinch already ordered the OG Mando and Blur. Got the Mando with Child this week. There is another Mando. It's a Mando with Child, and it's on like this really fancy stand with IG Eleven and the helmet and things like that. It's very cool. I um, want to show you guys this one. So before we get to Mr. Snowden's Neighborhood, I'm going to do a quick unboxing here from Zanini Box. Uh, for people that love the pins, you can check out Zanini Box at ZaniniBox.com. A lot of different uh, options if you would like. They come magnets. Uh, tons of different sets. But I want to do a quick unboxing for you for the new pins. Here you can go to the cards. So if you like the cards, there you go. Little Breaking Bad. How about this right there? One of the goats of all time, just celebrating to go into the Hall of Fame. Shouts out to Kobe Bryant. Um, one of the best. Still very, very sad to think about that over a year ago. But you can get uh, now every pin that I show you is also available in magnet form. How about Cyborg? How about Masters of the Universe and Orca? That's very cool. I like that one. I like that one. It's cool. Uh, My Hero Academia. Cool. Cool. We also then have Sylvester. And we have a Scarlet Witch. So very cool. They also come in little magnet forms. Uh, if you wanted magnets of them, it's the same thing, only it's in a magnet. And you can get them... 
at ZaniniBox.com, and there you can sort of see sort of the list of all the things. Check them out. Use code Luau and save 10% off your first month, or if you want to buy them individually. Uh, and like I said, they come in a big set like this. I think it's like $32, $34. The cards are $5.99. The pins are around, I think, like $14 or $15. Bucks. So if you like that, definitely check it out at ZaniniBox.com. Check out all the soda toppers that I showed you earlier. Big shout out to all the winners. Get a load, of, get a hold of me on Instagram. Also, some mystery boxes still available from DC Pops. So DC Pops, if you want to link to the Instagram, uh, shout out their damaged mystery boxes, but great value and overvalue if you want some. Some of those still available. So definitely check them out on Instagram at DC Pops. All right, I'm going to bring on my special guest for the evening. Uh, again, thank you, Christina, and everyone for linking his channel, Mr. Snowden's Neighborhood. Uh, great content. Lives down in the Florida area. I believe loves Disney. Nickelodeon. Um, also, if you've heard Bearded Pop Hunter and Pop Savage's uh, intros, he's the one that made those intros uh, with the music. I bring you Kevin Snowden from Mr. Snowden's Neighborhood. Boom. What's going on? Oh no, he's a little froze. Let's see. Let's see if it comes back. Well, at least he's smiling, right? We'll see. We'll see if he comes he's back. He might have a little connection. I can see. It. Well, you're not moving, but I can hear you a little bit. A little froze. Yeah, the screen's froze, but you're smiling. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> give me give me one moment to try it. Sure. All right, here, let's remove that one. We can bring this one in. So does does this one work a little bit better? Yeah, that one works good. All right, great. Uh so sorry, I tried to do it on my uh iPad, but you know, technology. <laughs> What, what are you going to do? <laughs> yeah, swap devices and keep the show <laughs> going, right? <laughs> what is going on, my friend? Uh, how are you today? You know, it, it's another day. It's another day. You know. Everyone said it, but I also want to say happy belated. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. An another year older. Gotta love it. Well, are you like 21 now? We can get you into a club? Man, I wish. I wish. <laughs> I'm, I'm like I'm like the beard. I'm I'm old. You know. I'm. I, what am I now? Uh, Forty four this year. Are you really? Yeah. I don't believe it. I don't yeah. believe it. Seventy seven. That's not bad. I, I think I think I think me and the beard are right there at the same age. So we were like um, when I had him on, which was funny because when I had him on, he didn't know it was live. He thought it was like a podcast. He's like, oh. I gotta go change the clothes, man. <laughs> it's on film. I said, yeah. <laughs> but you know, we had a lot of the same, you know, the sneaker game back in the day and music I, and all that good stuff. Right. Yeah. I I, I remember cool. seeing that and um I think both of you stated like when you graduated high school, and I believe you were ninety four? Six. Ninety six. Ninety six, and then he said he was like ninety seven, if I'm correct. I think I think that's what he said. Yeah, I'm really digging back into the memory banks, but like I was like, wow, I can <laughs> learn so much from these two. <laughs> that's amazing. Wait, it, it, it's funny when we go back, and I, I had you know I had the little one on, and we we were filming stuff, and um, oh, what was it? It's a video people will see eventually, but uh, I pulled pop in. It was Run DMC. It was Run. Okay. And, uh, you know, he likes his rap music and I don't, I can't stand I don't, I don't know. I'm not into the stuff he listens to. I just don't like it. Right. Right. But, <laughs> you didn't know who he was. I said, you don't know who this is. He said, no, who's that run DMC. You don't know who run DMC is. Uh, and he's like, no, I said, oh, geez, the beastie boys. And you go, I go LL cool J. Well, yeah, yeah. He was in the shark movie and he's on L lawn. Oh, oh no. <laughs> he's in the shark oh. movie. That's what he said. <laughs> He was in that shark movie. He was the chef of the shark movie, and he's done movies, and he's on, like, um, NCS Los Angeles. I love that that's what he's known for now. That's his thing. You know, he, he just totally doesn't remember. I said, I said, these are the people back in the day that, 
you know, I mean, he knows Notorious B.I.G. Uh, mm. He knows Tupac. So, I mean, he's got some stuff, but yeah, he just blew me away. And I'm just like, oh, God. I said, you're whatever excess detention and all this other stuff. <laughs> you know, I remember back in the day when we were listening to, I mean, Craig Mack and Biggie and Tupac and people were, oh, that's, that's crap. And it's like, now I, I look back and it's like, I look at his stuff and I'm like, yeah, that's, this stuff's crap. If only they would have known what hip hop I, and, and like, I don't like talking ill on hip hop. I feel that it's a ever evolving situation yeah, absolutely. and there's always going to be new voices that come into it to change the landscape and exactly where it's headed. But like you said, if only people in the nineties could have heard what it would become later on and stuff like that. And the influences that, uh, I guess the music has on people in the community and stuff like that. It's, it's so strange to see how much it's changed. Cause I, I started um, listening to it like in the back of my mom's car. Like it would always be like R and B and like hip hop. Oh, yeah. And uh, like, I would, I would listen and I was like, wow, this is, this is great. And then like going through the early thousands and seeing, you know, I don't, I guess kind of the uprisings of like people like Eminem and Kanye and um, you had 50 cent, you had mm -hmm. G unit that came with 50 cent. Yeah. You had like D 12 that came with Eminem and stuff. And to see how the 90s transformed into the early thousands. And then later on, you get like the big boom of now we're mixing hip hop with like R&B. Like we're bringing them together or like hip hop with pop and stuff like that. And to see how this genre of music keeps stretching and how it can just fit into any fold and stuff. Uh, it's It's been very cool to see. It's yeah. also frightening because as you said, there's... There, there's just certain people that you're just like, listen, I, I don't, you're doing a bit of a disservice here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want to slap the the moniker rapper on you, like you, I, I don't want to do that. But I, I see that you're trying, and I want to give you the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> I, we, we need some, we need some new stuff from an Eminem or something like that. It needs to come out with some new stuff. But uh, mm. yeah, yeah. Man, I remember who was it the. It was one video you were doing, I think, talking about, like, top chases, and you were talking about waterfalls, listening to uh, the old TLC Absolutely. song with your mom and stuff like that. And I remember, man, I remember that song. I mean, I was that was high school for me. But I remember that that song was so iconic. And, uh, you know, speaking of Funko, I, I give it to them. I think you said they did it right. They did those those pops they did right. Yeah, absolutely. I remember when they, uh, when they first got announced, I started freaking out. I don't collect pop rocks of uh, the pop rocks line. Yep. Um, I've recently started limiting myself on what I can bring into the collection <laughs> because I started getting to that point where I'm like, I, I don't, I don't have space <laughs> for all of you. So I'm sorry. I have to be kind of picky, but like when those got announced, I was like, I need those chases, those yeah. chases, like whoever sat at the board meeting and went, Oh, can we do like TLC Funko pops? And they're like, yeah, yeah, we can try to get that license. And they said the chases should be from like the waterfalls music video. And then that would have been the moment where I went, you get a raise because that was a stroke of genius. It's translucent, just like the video, beautifully mm -hmm. done. Although I, I, I kind of would like to see them back with the, you know, the, the like the cross color jeans and the, the oh, exactly. Uh, the, the little band-aids they used to wear and stuff like that, little patch. I thought that they could do something with that. And will they ever, I don't, I think you might get, yeah, that might get too detailed, but those they would be a, cool. They have a lot of iconic looks, like the No Scrubs music video where they're oh, like yeah. platinum silver and all that. Yep. And the, like, um, what do they call like platform boots? I believe yep. they were in. Like, you're right. They they could do they could. those iconic looks and stuff. Like, it just comes down to if they'll do it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's tough. Like, it's tough. They like they'll do something. Um, like as a as a pop collector, I look for the things that I guess mean the most to me. And those are usually the ones that really um, get brought into the collection and stuff. And sometimes Funko is very lazy and, um, but sometimes they just really knock it out of the park. They can. And, those are the, and I, you, you always have to give people their flowers while they're here. You know what I mean? And like, it let them know when they're doing good just as well as we can let them know when they're doing bad. And the chase for, you know, TLC was, oh, one was of good. same thing with like, um, was it, was it toy fair that happened in the beginning of this year? If I'm correct, that's what it was called. Yeah. 
uh, when they when they revealed Kid and Play, I lost my mind. They did Kid like, and Play justice, yeah. I was like, this looks so good. Yeah. So I I appreciate them uh, when they when they put effort into the passion. I can also get passionate about it and you know throw my bucks their way and stuff. I, I think the little one asked me, he said, "Who's Kid and Play?" I said, "Jesus." <laughs> Kid and Play was a group, but you know I think probably for you you're going to remember the movies and you know he didn't and i said house party i said i think they did three of them and mm -hmm. the first one was was one of the best and the second one was good the third one and eh, they probably could have forgot the third one but i feel you <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing tops that first one no and the second one was good enough too but i said i said you got to go back and watch it and he did and he said man there, there's some like martin lawrence and i said yeah yeah, Martin Lawrence before Martin was Martin is in those movies. That was I was about to say if I'm if I'm correct, I, I don't know. I I've seen this movie like secondhand. You know what I mean? Like I wasn't there like when it first came out. But I think someone told me that was like his first acting role. I could that be might. Wrong, that might be. I was like, if that was his first acting role, a hell of a movie to be in for yeah. your first role. <laughs> and you know, look at him now. I mean, he doesn't do much, but I mean, he he I mean, he owned. He owned the '90s from yeah, he, he the TV show and the movies and Bad Boys and all. Yeah. You know, he went on his sort of run where he was he was doing the comedic movies and he did, did well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He certainly left his stamp on, uh, like you said, the '90s. You, you kind of yeah. wish he would do more. I, you you kind of wish like Jim Carrey would come back and do comedy and. Could you imagine? It, like I, uh, I, I, while while it's not the same. I had a conversation with somebody uh, yesterday and it, it, it was on the topic of people who we identify as like legends and the people who have done something for so long, bringing them back or letting them get their, you know, their peace. Yeah. And the topic of conversation was, Oh, how would you feel if they recasted Wolverine or would you want them to bring back Hugh Jackman? And I'm like, listen, that man has given me enough. <laughs> like, I, I want you to rest and everything and um taking it back to like martin or jim carrey they they've done so like the other day i rewatched the mask for the first time in like ever and i'm like this is so good and i forgot just how good this was and on martin uh the last movie that well before movies started opening back up and whatnot yep. the last film that my girlfriend and i had saw in theaters was bad boys for life and Martin stole the show. And I didn't know if that was going to happen because I was like, oh, Martin, you've been, you've been out of the game for a little, bro. He, he looked a little different. Didn't look like he used to look. Right. And, you and know. I, like, I don't know what's going to happen. And then, like, <laughs> maybe, like, five, ten minutes into the movie, I'm like, oh. Oh, no, 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 no. They brought top-tier Martin back. They, oh, yeah. they brought him back. Okay. All right. Cool. So, oh, yeah. I mean, is it possible for them to make comebacks? Because Jim Carrey was also really good in the Sonic movie, which I just he recently was. watched. He and was. He he stole the show in that. So I mean, if they make a comeback, I'm all for it. You know what I mean? It just has like to be. Adam Sandler too. It's I know he's got his deal with Netflix, but you know the classic Adam Sandler. You know you don't. I mean, some of them you see sparks of it, but you don't right. see. It's not right. like bam. It's like it used to be. Right. It's hard and to I, say whether they they want to do it or they they just eh, you know we're we're kind of like retired. We we made our money. Right. That's that's probably their mindset. Like, um, listen, man. You know my catalog. You know what I do. <laughs> and like, uh, listen, you came to me, so you recognize who you're talking to and stuff. Just know that I might give you 70% because I've been given 100 my whole career. So I got I to gotta do something about it. Oh, yeah. Zach taking it back. Do the right thing. Then house party. Oh, yeah. The classic. Oh, okay. Classic stuff. All right. All right. You, you got that one. <laughs> <laughs> Another one saying, "Love Hugh, Hugh Jackman was great." I think he said, "No more Wolverine." I think he's already said he won't do it. I I remember like an article from years back. Now it was when Fox was still Fox and not Disney, and um, I remember him stating that, "Oh, I'll come back if I get to fight the Hulk." And <laughs> I thought that was I was like, "Oh, <laughs> it, he he just said it. Just 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 get this done," and then. After Logan came out, I was like, no, 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 no. I can't yeah, have you, come back. I can't. Yeah, it's, it's hard. I don't know if they could bring him back. It's like Iron Man. I mean, you, you could. But it, it takes away that impact yeah. that he had. And I, 
while it would be amazing to see Hugh Jackman get to go beast mode on Hulk oh, yeah. and for them to just duke it out like we would read in the comic books or you know, seeing like I know there was like an animated movie when I was a yep. little younger where it was like Hulk versus Wolverine. And just to see that, but I was like, listen, Hugh, I don't know. You've had this body for going on like what 20 years? You gotta be tired of just shredding <laughs> chicken and drinking it down. Like you <laughs> get a burger, Hugh. Like you're good. You oh, yeah. your service. Yeah, but, he's, um, he's done his thing. Yeah. His thing. Yeah. And we're all thankful for it. <laughs> He's done. He's done. He's done a really. He's done a great job. I mean, a lot of his movies were really good. So. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, and, and you called it right. I remember you did that. La I think that last video about a week ago you did, uh, which you know, talked about some of the things on the the rise. Some of them are kind of lazy, and yeah, I, I know people won't like it, but you're right on with the black light pops. I, I'm not a black light pop fan. I think nope. it's not lazy, but it's the flavor of the month. It's like let's make it black light and. Just like the Chromes did. I mean, I thank God we don't see a lot of those done. Right. I mean, it's just like throw it down your throat too much of it. And the black lights, I just think the same thing. It's the same mold. I think you did a great job mold. showing that. It's the same mold. And it's like, all right. Eh. I don't get I don't get it. I um like when the original ones came out, so like the Marvel ones from Target, I was like, Oh, all right, that that's cool. Something, something different. You didn't come yeah. out with a lot of them. All right, all right. Well, now, it isn't bad. Now they're like, hey, did you want DC? Did oh, you yeah. want or X Men? Did you want Alice in Wonderland? And I'm like, well, some of these make sense. Like, like I said it in the video, I was like, Thor makes sense because, like, looking at the Kirby run and everything, like, he could have those funky colors on him. Doctor Strange, same thing. Alice in Wonderland, I see where you're going. I see. Yeah. But, like, everybody else, I'm just like, nah, man, y'all could have done better or something <laughs> different. And, um, the same thing with like the diamond variants. I'm just like, listen, if you got a lot at the factory, just let us know. I'm sure that there's people that'll buy them. You don't have to slap glitter on it and then call it Wait, this brand new thing. And, and you called it the same way. I mean, obviously, yes, it costs money to make a different mold. And, right. you know, they're, they're trying to get the, from a business perspective, but I think they, they do it so wrong. It's like, you know, like when they did Energizer Bunny, all right, let's flock him. And within like a year, we're gonna flock him. All right, let's diamond him. And it's like, oh come on, guys, really? Right. One of these made more sense than the other, and we should have just left it. And mm -hmm. <laughs> flock like, it, I, let it. I done. remember having uh, like a conversation with Beard, uh, as we as we all know, he he's recently gotten out of the Eye at Icon game. <laughs> and, uh, I remember speaking to him about it a couple of times. And he's like, listen, I don't know. And like, I kept cheering him on. I'm like, no, 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 no. You got him. Like, you're good. Like, you don't want to throw away all of this. Like, you built that up. Like, we know you as the ad icon guy at this point. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, but I got this one and this one. And, you know, I'm just simply running out of space because now they're starting to bring out ad icons more sporadically. Like, last, before it would be, here's an ad icon. And then a couple months later, Here's another ad icon. Now they're just dropping full sets. Like yeah, I think they, they kept, back in the day, they kept more exclusive too. And then now it's like it burned. I loved ad icons, but it, I think McDonald's did me in. I, it, all it the McNuggets and back yeah. in the day. And um, I remember telling him, I was like, "Listen, if you have to get rid of some, uh, this this was before he made the decision to let them all go. But um, I was like, if you if you get rid of some, I would personally do like the if you have a flock Smokey the Bear." Keep that one, but then get rid of the regular one. That, that's fine. You have the cooler version. Same thing with like the uh, like you said, the Energizer Bunny, or um, I think the Bullseye, the Target Dog. I think oh yeah, yeah. It, I mean, that's how many they did did of him. I was like, listen, just 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 keep the cool ones. If you're if you're if you're still considering staying in the ad icon game, man, keep but the cool ones and then ditch the the common when, stuff. He but, makes his when he makes his mind up, man. That's it. It's over. It's like absolutely. <laughs> Done. Yeah, no more. I'm done. He was he was teetering <laughs> on that. I also want to point out this was the most luau shirt that I had. I like it. I, I like it for the occasion. I like it. Hey, you're you're right down there in Florida too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's hot. I uh, like. I knew it was going to be, but uh, there's just moments where I'm just like, damn. Oh, uh, I, I we, <laughs> we, were down, we were down to to Disney. I think it's like four or five weeks ago we went down, and it was. The first couple days, oh, this isn't bad. I should have brought more sweatshirts or something like this. This isn't bad. And then all of a sudden, bam, here's like 89, 90. Oh, my God. It, it creeps up on you. 
And like, it's beautiful. Like, don't get me wrong. It's, it's great to wake up. Like I, I, I'm originally from Jersey. So when we moved down here in February, it was like negative degrees up there and like <laughs> had to shovel the car out and stuff. And I was like, listen, I'm so happy. Like everybody would ask us, why are you guys moving to Florida? Why are you moving? And I'm like, you see all this stuff on the ground? You see this weather? You see how I'm out here in like a jacket and a hoodie? Th this is why I'm moving. And I got <laughs> down here and I'm like, wow, you see me in these shorts <laughs> and th this this tank top? I'm not, I'm not putting anything else on. And <laughs> it's hilarious. How, how was Disney for you and the fam? So it was uh, it was the first time I've been down in twenty some years. Really? So yeah, for me it was. Uh, I tell people, and I don't think I've, I've told people, you know, watching, and people have asked, but I don't think I said. It. I think it was like Galaxy's Edge, fabulous. I, I loved it. I thought they they did it great. Mm -hmm. It wasn't the full Disney experience. You know, you can't get close to the characters, but I thought it, it gave the kids enough and stuff. Yeah, it gave the kids enough of a, a, a. It was my son's second time down, and my daughter's first, so she couldn't get dolled up with the princesses or do that. So, you know, it had its differences, and uh, we didn't do any water parks. Okay. That was the last day, I was like, well, you know what? I, I just I'm not spending the money and and go there because I don't think I'll I'll enjoy it. So, but Galaxy's Edge, Star Wars, phenomenal, loved it. Um, some Did of the you rides. Up Pandora over in Animal Kingdom. Oh yeah, and that's just one of the hot days. It was like, oh. oh, oh yeah, Animal Kingdom yeah. hot days. Oh, it, it was it was like ninety. It was in the nineties. I believe it. And we were in. Uh, we were there. We we did the safari, and that did nothing for me. It was like, all right, th this kind of sucks. And uh, my wife was still getting over concussions, so right after that, we went to uh, uh, the Everest roller coaster, which is oh, fabulous. No. Loved it. She didn't do that one. Oh, okay. but after right. that, like, oh. she went back. Yeah, she wouldn't do that. She went. She went back to the hotel, and I kept the kids. I said, "All right, what do you want to do?" And the daughter said, "I want to ride the Everest." All right, let's go. And that was her first <laughs> roller coaster. Fabulous. Loved it. Awesome. I can understand why it was uh, the amount of money that thing cost. Fabulous mm -hmm. roller coaster. And then we were like, "We got to do Pandora." All right, and it's like a two-hour wait, and it, the line was wrapped around. You're just drenching in the sweat, and it's like, oh. But it was a cool ride. It was cool. It's if if, if the if the ride wasn't worth it, I'd be so upset every time I see that like ninety five minute wait. But then you get on flight of passage and you're like, all right, man, all right, I guess this was worth it. And then this the the funny part is you get on flight of passage, and it's one of those situations where you're like, oh, I just want to get right back on. And then you remember it's... your ninety five minutes just bumped up to one hundred and seventy five, because <laughs> now you got to start back at the bottom. And you're like, no, no, I'll watch it on YouTube. I'll, I'll be yeah, right. good. I, I, I wrote it once. It was good. And then people were like, uh, it, they thought it, uh, we're in line. And people said, if you liked uh, the one at uh, Epcot, was it Sky? Soren. 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 If you like Soren, you're going to love this better. And I'm like, yeah. all right. And then they get in and you're in like a crotch rocket. And then the, the things push you, pin you in. And I'm like, I don't know about this. <laughs> but then it was like, oh, <laughs> this was cool. This was I, cool. The, uh, the ride vehicle is certainly unique. Yes. That makes you feel like you're like strapped on. Oh like, yeah. Um, the first time I went on it, like I sat down, and for for anybody who hasn't been on the ride before, it's it's essentially you're on like a a, a motorcycle. It's almost like, say, yeah. like they tell you to push your chest all the way onto the seat, and then like a a, a clamp hits <laughs> your back, and you're like, oh oh wait a second, and then they <laughs> also put clamps like on your calves. Like oh yeah. Your legs, and you're like, oh time out. I don't know what I just signed up for, but wait a second. But then the ride starts and you're like, okay, I get why, because I would totally fall off of this because of how immersive everything looks. And it, it, was, it, was, it was cool. It was cool. I think the kids were just so hot and drained. We didn't do the boat ride, but I don't, uh, I don't blame you. I figure out, well, you know, we left and um, what did we do that? We went to Disney, Disney twice. Okay. And some of the rides, like the Haunted Mansion and Pirates of the Caribbean, I had in my mind from 20 years ago how it was. And it was like, man, this is not what I remember. <laughs> the kids were like, what did you think? It was awesome. I, I can't go that. It, it, nostalgic. Daddy will say it's nostalgic. There you go. There you go. It's it's uh, It perfectly captures what the Disney experience used to be before you know screens were introduced and all these uh, ride simulations, and uh, I, I, 
I jump on Pirates of the Caribbean and Haunted Mansion, and like I think you go on them now as like the yeah. that we are, and I think it's more admiring like the technique of the animatronics and bringing them all together and the smells of the different rides and whatnot. And, and, like now, I go on Haunted Mansion. Like before, I, I I remember going on Haunted Mansion when I was a kid, and like I'm a, I'm a grandma's boy th- through and yeah. through, and like I, I sat next to my grandma. And at a certain point, they go, all right, well, now the ghosts are going to follow you home. And I was like, stop, listen, <laughs> listen, I don't know where they're going to sleep because I got a bunk bed and my little sister sleeps on the top bunk. So where are they going to stay? And now <laughs> I go there and I'm like, wow, someone crafted these things. Someone came up with this this catchy song. And, I, and yep. th- this ride vehicle is just fun. And then you get on other rides that are, sort of like that, like Pirates of the Caribbean. And you, I just kind of think the same things. And like you yeah. said, I think it's just a nostalgic factor. But it's, it, when they I mean, it's, what it's they cool. Are. I think Haunted Mansion was really cool to see. And it, it there's not, I don't, I didn't remember it all, but it, it, I think I built it up in my head more than what the, what it was. And it's like, I got oh. you. <laughs> so cool. So cool. Right. 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 But yeah, it was, it was, it was cool to see. And uh, we stayed at different hotels so, you know, I never stayed. We were like, uh, what do we stay at? Uh, the Yacht Club. So we were like Ooh. a walk from, you know, Epcot. Right. And then like a 15-minute boat ride from, um, you know, MGM. And I loved MGM. I thought it, it not everything was open. You know, the shows and everything weren't. So I was kind of deflating. And I think, what did we do? Well, we made a bad choice because the, the boy, um, my wife stayed home. And for, I had him in the first half of the day. We did Galaxy's Edge, which was awesome. I loved okay. it. Built the lightsabers. We got on. Um, oh, we we were lucky enough to get a ride on um, the other one, the other Star Wars. Yes, which was on, in, insane. Fantastic ride. Oh yeah, loved it, loved it. And she came later in the night. And we built the droid, which they can keep the droid thing. That was yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. It was the the lightsaber was so good, and then the droid I would was say so one like, of them seems a little bit more personal, I guess. They, it's like these people care about this lightsaber thing. They, they, it's an experience, and the droid exactly. was just like trying to rush you through. Okay, here, ta, 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 uh, all right, you know, all right. Got you. I, I, uh, since, since we moved down here, um, we've been to Hollywood Studios once, and um, I was, I was also lucky enough to get on Rise of the Resistance. Fantastic ride, if you can make yeah. that stuff. Uh, there was, there was a a voice speaking in the back of my head, like, Kevin, you want to make a lightsaber. <laughs> you know you do. And I'm just like, ah, yeah, I do, but it, it's, that's 200 bucks. It's 200. For, for something that essentially I'm just going to hang on the wall or something it, like it, that. Mine sits, it, it sits right there. It's, it, that's. And don't get me wrong, that that's so cool that you now have your own lightsaber and everything. It's just, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I don't know how often I'll bring it out and do anything with it, but yeah. There are, There'll be times, like me, I would just find every excuse. Like, instead of having a flashlight, I'd be like, yeah, let me grab the lightsaber. <laughs> be like, oh, we got bread? Cool, let me... It's, it's not working today. I don't know what's wrong, but we're going to keep trying. Like, uh, one of these days, I'm certainly going to build... I got to make a purple one. I got I to gotta go down there and make a purple one. And, and I, I hear they, they have a ray one now, so that's cool from... Uh, that's yellow. I thought that was cool. They'll, they'll keep evolving it and make it better. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I have to also compliment you like everybody else does. Your setup is wonderful. <laughs> and and, and it, 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 like um so I I've been keeping up with everything here on the channel. Yeah. Uh, and every time you do like a live or something like that, people people probably have their Funkos in the back here just to show them off. And I just have a Donald clock. <laughs> clock and like But and that we, works. That works. We we're still getting everything set up here and uh one of these days I I'll, I'll, I'll love to turn this camera around and be like, oh, you know, <laughs> that's the collection there. That's the, that's the man myth and the legend, you know, and people ask me, I said, most of the stuff stays here and stuff I'm selling stays over here where you don't see. And then okay. giveaway stuff stays here. And then, uh, you know, when you have a collection, you know, a storage unit is your good friend. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And people ask, you don't display it. I said, it's hard. There's not, I said, I can't, display stuff upstairs wife don't have that you know it's a right. no go <laughs> you know and, and she'll be like well i said you know hey could the top of the curio cabinet and stuff like that any chance we could get rid of some of this stuff and i could put like hot toys or something there no all right i thought i'd try i'm listen 
I got the bathroom though. She she let me have my own bath. You know my bathroom that you know mostly I share with the kids and okay because you know one thing with a woman. I mean I'm sure there's women in the chat. You understand that one thing. Uh, you know it's it's best to let them have their own bathroom. It just works better that way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I have some autograph stuff and some Michael Jordan stuff I keep in the bathroom, so I have that up upstairs. Okay. Well, look, Figures, at, least, at least you're able to expand. You know what I mean? A, a little bit. A Take little bit. what you can get. That, that's it. That's it. That's it. Because so. for me, it's like uh, like I have a, a plan, and then so I collect Funko Pops, and then Dia collects Lounge Flies. Ooh. So I I I. I want to be as fair as possible. So I don't want to say, oh, yeah, well, my Funko Pops are going to take up 75% of the space that we got. <laughs> Sorry. So, like, it, it comes down to, like, that communication. And uh, like you said, it's also that give and take. Like, all right, you can have this section. I'm like, cool. You can't take it back now. Like, I'm, I'm going to – this is – flag is planted. This is Funko section now. There you but, go. Like, all that over there is all you. Hang up your bags. Do exactly <laughs> what you want to do. I'm not even going. I'm. I won't even look at them. <laughs> I, I, I think the lounge fly though. I have a few, but I, I I keep it to like Monsters Inc. and up. Okay. Because okay. man, those things can get out of out of control sometimes. They, especially down where you are in Disney. I was looking at like Disney World, and there's a couple other people that collect them. And it's like, oh my gosh, these things are something. I didn't realize how deep that rabbit hole went, and you know. It, she 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 she's taking her own little trip down there, and that's perfectly fine. <laughs> they look cool the way that she displays them, and uh, we have like we have such a good, I guess, relationship with each other's collections. She doesn't bother me when it comes to me bringing home a new Funko, and I don't bother her when a new bag shows up. I'm just like, you got it, you got it. Which one is this one? <laughs> Which one? like it's to the point where now I follow lounge fly people on Instagram just to go, hey Dia, did you know that this one is up and ready? You can you can go get it. And um, it's it's just cool to see her also happy collecting something. That, that's, that, that, that's dope. That's good. How, how about let, let's talk a little bit. Uh, let's talk about a little music because um, you know the first one I heard was the intro to the Beards channel, which was awesome. And then uh, the Pop Savage one was just like, man, you're outdoing yourself. I'm. Just, I try. I try. <laughs> <laughs> been been rapping since. Um, twenty. Oh, so it started as poems to to an yep. ex girlfriend, and then uh, you know, once we broke up, I was like, well, I'm kind of just sitting on this full book of poems now. What can I do with it? And then I started going on YouTube and like finding like tight beats, and then it evolved into rapping. So I think my first time rapping was in like 2010, and um, it's it's been an evolving and very learning experience, and. Uh, put out two albums, put out a couple music videos, and then randomly I jumped in one of Beard, uh, Beard's lives like on Instagram, and I was like, hey, huge fan, huge fan. I love how real you are, and I also like how you are a pillar of the community, and like, Absolutely. it's dope. Um, like, I, I remember verbally, like, writing, I'm sorry, so I guess typing to him, like, uh, not, not to make it a race thing, but it was cool to see someone like me doing this mm -hmm. hobby. Um, so thank you. And then uh, I was like, if you if you have the time, if you want to check out my music, that'd be dope. And I like I saved the video and everything. He was like, Mr. Snowden, yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> I'll check you out. I'll check you out. What's your, what's your music? Like, where can I find it? So I sent him a DM and then he got back to me and he's like, yo, this is dope. <laughs> I, was like, I didn't expect you to like it like i i honestly didn't even expect you to listen to it yeah but uh for that to happen and i was like listen i know you have like that like static when your videos come on and stuff like that but like how would you feel like if someone made you an intro and he's like hey, listen if, if you if you can throw one at me i have no problem with it like that'd be dope thank you so um started the process of it and everything and got it back to him uh, it ended up on his videos, which was stellar to me. Like, I remember, like, Dia was asleep, and I was like, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up. My <laughs> song is on his video now. Like, this this, this is cool. Oh, and yeah. um, I made my channel, and then uh, I became friends with Savage. And uh, I was like, yeah, man. He's like, yo, that, that intro was dope. And I'm like, yeah, man. Do, do, oh, yeah. Do, do you also want one? And he's like... 
could you? And like, I <laughs> sent him like a rough draft of like what it would sound like. And he was like, if, if this is what you're giving me, I, it's dope. It's dope. So oh, yeah. getting him as well. Um, and then I, uh, I'm, for people who don't know, I'm in the process of making one for you. Uh, it's written. I just have to get back home to the <laughs> studio that I go to, like back up in Jersey. Uh, everything's ready. And then as soon as that done, as soon as that is done, you'll have one. I certainly have to do one for myself. Oh, but yeah. It clicked that I don't have an intro. It's just kind of me going, hey, everybody, welcome back to the neighborhood. <laughs> and I was like, oh, wait, I totally need something that's, you know, reminiscent of me on my channel, too. So um, I, I, I like being in the business of providing cool intros for folks. Oh, my God. Yeah, absolutely. Here you got KNL Collectibles saying hey, no, how you doing? <laughs> Here is, uh, let's see. Patty Kenyon saying, I like both those intros for the Beard and Savage. That, that means a lot to me because, you know, you're always, well, m me personally, when it comes to that, like, I, I was nervous. I was like, I don't know. Like, I mean, I think it's cool. And then you, who's the receiver of the song, you like it, which means a lot to me. However, I don't know if your audience is going to bang with it or anything. So I hope it, I hope people like it. Oh, yeah. It's, beard, it's, beard it's, like, it's, people, it's like, uh, I think mean, Beard always says it good. It's just like he's going to do what he's going to do when he's going to do it and say what he's going to say. And yeah. I mean, God, God love him for it. You yeah. Know? I mean, like him, don't like him, like what he says, disagree with it. He doesn't care. That's just what it is. Which is, which is what makes him who he oh, is. Man. He is. He's something I remember. Who was it? It was a couple of weeks ago. I said, Hey, I got, I got something I'm, I'm sending you. And uh, what is it? And I said, eh, You know, because uh, we were going back and forth. Because anyone I have one, I send a candy thing. You'll see very soon, within a week or so. Hopefully, it doesn't melt. But <laughs> I'm like, I send this to you, and, and it's coming back to me. It's wow, the PO box. I gotta get another PO box. All right, so he eventually gives me his address, and okay. I send it to him. I say, hey, I'm sending you something again. He's like, what is it? I say, it's a surprise. So he gets it, and it's in a, it's a little bag. He said, I like the bag. It had a, a logo on it, and what's in it? it it's like some shirt or something. <laughs> he thinks I'm pranking him with a sh with someone's shirt. I won't say. I the was name so first. I was so ready for him to open it and it be that. I was I was waiting with bated breath. It, it tempted me. It's like I said. Number one, do you honestly think I'd spend money on on his shirt to give you? I think, <laughs> I think it'd be funny. I think I I mean I would love to see your face because I think it'd be hilarious. Right. But I wouldn't, right. I wouldn't do that to you. But yeah, he he was he was he, he was something. This better not be this. It better not be. <laughs> I was I, I thought it would either be that, or I thought it was like a My Hero Academia shirt with like Ida on it, and I I was waiting for that. I would have laughed so hard. But like the the it was it was a jersey. If I'm yeah correct. yeah, well, I got I got some jerseys in, and um that was one of them. And it just it wasn't. Uh, he, I, I love Mike Evans, but it's like uh, I, I would have liked the red one. It just you know. But I said I know where I got to send this. I know who's got to have this thing. That's dope. That's so dope. like yeah, it was like an immediate, yeah. And you know, I didn't. I thought he'd, you know, he'd like it or display it, but I didn't think he'd like it as much as he did. And he was like, his oh reaction. My God. Was oh that yeah, cool. yeah. His reaction. Now you know, he gets me thinking, man. If I if I do buy one of those shirts, it would be funny to see his. <laughs> 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 the face would just be priceless, and yeah, someone someone's got to take him down. He's now two and zero in this. Now he's got a belt. Oh my God! I I, I don't hear the end of it now. And it's uh, it, like, it's know. so funny. Uh, we um, it, it it came up from, I believe it was Beard's idea, and he contacted Savage and I, and he's like, "Hey, do do you two want to do like a mystery box, like trio type thing?" And I was like, "You know me, I'm always down for 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 some good old clean fun," and uh, I know him and Savage had already gone at it, and Savage at this point had been taking on a lot of people. Yep, and. Yep. Um, you know, kind of falling from grace, but it, <laughs> and, um, when when it came to it, I was like, I remember, let's say friendly, friendly trash talk. I was like, oh yeah, you know, new kid on the block. I'm about to start taking the crown already. It's crazy, and um, we ended up purchasing it and everything, and uh, I didn't know what they were going to have and i remember shooting my video and immediately like i texted him and i was like hey so like uh 
what what are the stipulations? Like, what happens if someone loses? <laughs> and like, uh, Beard was like, he's out. He's out. There's no type of confidence in his voice. I was like, no, 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 no. I'm just asking a question. And he's like, nah, I'm counting it as a dub already. Like, Snowden's out. Savage, I'm really just taking on you. And I was like, oh, here we go. This is what oh, I yeah. get for doing all that trash talk in the beginning. And then I'm like, man, you even had to put Ric Flair in the video. He said, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, jeez. And then it, uh, all the like uh, people were coming from the bearded community doing the um, like beard whipped your ass in the comments and stuff. And I was like, you got it. You got it. Oh, because he he can talk. I mean, oh, my God. He and oh, yeah. he, Patty, Patty's saying you guys created a monster in him now. The belt, the belt is when I knew we were in trouble. <laughs> when he said he was ordering a belt, and then when it showed up, and I went, "Oh man, <laughs> this this has happened. He's he's up here now, and now we got to oh, yeah. knock him down a couple." And you know, days. you know, I, you know, I, I said, you know, I'm taking on Savage. I've beaten him. I said I might have to come for this belt, and uh, he he's fierce and. He doesn't. Oh, yeah, it, it's not his. It's not his game. He doesn't play the mystery box game. He, he, right. He, it's, not his, it's not his bag. Which is so weird that he was the one who pulled Azula, and and not only was it funny that he pulled it and that was the first pull, but Savage has been talking about the Azula pop for like six months now, talking about oh yeah, that's all I really am looking to get. That's my grill at the moment. And as soon as I watched the video, I went no, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> And uh, it, it was it was a fun time though, but uh, I like that Beard doesn't back down. Um, he have you have you ever played football with him? No. Man? Oh yeah. Not at all. That that's. I, I I haven't played video games in a while. My my son loves to play it, and I, I had this back in my mind. It's like, man, if I get back on the sticks and I start playing Mad, maybe I could get there. But it was like, nah, I, I, nah, nah. He he's vicious. Just the. The way that he comes at like Funko Cop and Jeff, oh, and man. I'm like, listen, I can't. I'm just now building my reputation in this community. I can't have him tarnish it off a of Madden and a mystery box. No, 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 no. I have to. I have to build a little bit more. Then I'll say, hey, Beard, I'm challenging you to another mystery box. If I take another ding on that one, <laughs> at least I've built up a little bit. Uh, I can't. I can't take two L's <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think I'd much rather the mystery box than take him on and mad. And he just seems, oh, man. I, I see what he does to Funko Cop and post those scores and everything. He, the guy's getting better. I'll give it to him. He's getting better, but, man. That's 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 the thing. It's the, it's the posting it on Instagram and all the gloating and stuff. And I'm like, listen, my heart can't take this. <laughs> I, I got to make sure when I come for beard, I got to come correct. Or I, I just need to sit down for a little bit and come up with a better game plan. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Poor Savage. He, he's you know he's been taking on some people and taking some beatings. Yeah, but I mean he keeps going. He keeps going, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I'm very thankful to have met the people and the community that I have met, including you. Um, starting the YouTube channel, c coming up on a year now. That oh wow, okay, wow. Uh, I'm quick. A year on YouTube, and um, like I didn't expect to be anywhere that I am today. Like uh, now, I, I don't call my subscribers subscribers. I call them neighbors. So like yeah. right now, we're at like over 500 uh, neighbors. And like I didn't see that happening. I also didn't think that I would be welcomed into this community as much as I was. And giving the um, opportunities that I have been and being able to like meet the cool people that I now know. And oh, yeah. Friends and stuff like that. It's, it's, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. And I didn't know back in 2015 getting that Kylo Ren Funko Pop would lead to everything that it has <laughs> led to. So I, I'm truly thankful. And like it, 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 it hit hard. It's like uh you know people ask it starts with one and then you go crazy and then you gotta back down. You gotta think all right I, I gotta switch this one or switch that one. All right. And it goes back and forth. But I, I think you know I don't know about you for me it's nostalgic. I mean I think you look at some stuff Goonies and Back to the Future and the ad, the old different ad icons. I'm more selective, you know. I have to be now. Okay. I can't get out of it, but it's like I can't. I don't view getting them all. I think McDonald's just did me in. I don't know what it was. Did they? Yeah, it was too much. It, it was it's all the McNuggets and the, the this and that, and it was like nostalgic at first. All right, the five pack, 
bring out the guy. All right, birdie breakfast. I get it. And then it was like, oh, the McNuggets. And that that lost me. Like, all right, I'm done. I can't. And they did like, what was it? Like Rockstar Ronald? Rock. Oh, yeah. It was too much. I was like, I was like Com- the Fry Guys and stuff, where there were like four different Fry Guys. And I was like, come on. Stop it. Stop it. But then it's it's so weird. Like, as, as Funko fans, we ask for these things. And then when Funko gets their hands on it, finally, we get really excited. So, like, um, the way that you're describing McDonald's was the way that I was when The Office came out. Ooh, and I was like, wow, we finally got The Office. That's cool. One of my favorite TV shows of all time. Yep. And then Wave 2 came out. And then Wave 3 came out. And I'm like, oh, wait wait a second. Wave 4 came out. Wave I'm like, stop, stop. <laughs> down. Down. They're like, but what if we gave you mystery minis now? We're going to give you this. And we're going to give you all the Dwights in the world. And I'm like, oh, man. And, I, and I, I, I went to the show. People ask. I said, listen, I love The Office. I think it's great. And I'll collect Dwight. But that's all I got in me. I, I can't do it. It's too much. It's a lot. Now, I want to see the beard with, with when Seinfeld. I think Seinfeld's the next office. I think they got that license. And I think they're going to go They're gonna go crazy. I was talking to um to Money's Vault. Yep, uh, yep. Money's Vault. I was speaking to him. And he's a big Parks and Rec guy. Yeah. And- the new way for Parks and Rec just got revealed and everything. And I I immediately hit him up. I was like, I'm praying and I'm hoping this isn't the case. But it looks like Ron is about to become the new Dwight. <laughs> yes. the, the amount of Rons that were in this wave is astounding when there's still characters that have not been done yet from Parks and Rec. And he's like, yeah, don't speak it into the universe. I can't handle it. And I was like, I'm, I'm hoping that's not the case. But I mean, there's like three or four runs up here, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there yeah, there it, hasn't it, been, uh, I think, it, Jerry or Terry. Like, they never knew his name. Yeah. Uh, I think her name was Rhonda. Um, there, there's characters that they just haven't met or made. But there's a, there's a couple of runs. Watch your back, money. Watch your it's back. Like, it's, like, it's like Dwight. It's like they're going to keep doing it. I, I don't know where they're going to do with Seinfeld. That, that It intrigues me because, man, there's – the, the, they hit with the commons, and then they come out with all the exclusives, and then the, the thing that looks like a pop album with Kramer, and I'm thinking watching the show, man, they could do so much. I mean... I think Kramer's going to be the Dwight of this series. Could be. You could it, do something... It's probably going to be him. You could do something with George, I guess, too. Because George, right, exactly. the hands... I mean, that thing where he's on that little chair, you know, it depends how risque they want to get. Right, right. So I recently started watching Seinfeld because it's available on, a, on Hulu. Mm. Um, one day I was just kind of sitting back and I was like, oh, I need something new to watch. Seinfeld is so funny. Yeah. And like you stated, there's a lot that oh, they yeah. can do with this this um, line and this this license. And they're hitting a lot early, which, you know, you're doing right. the sombrero. You're doing, uh, I mean, obviously you can't call him the soup Nazi, but, you mm-hmm. know. And, and you're hitting that early. So it was like, man, they're doing a lot early. That's what got me a tad bit afraid. I was like, I feel like you guys are doing way too much to start with. And um, you might need to back it up. But I do <laughs> like the idea of the, um, I, if I'm correct, they're called pop houses or something like that. Where it's different. It yeah. shows, it shows it, all together, it'll make Jerry's living room and stuff. And, and then they're doing chase versions of it. And I was like, oh, that's a, that's a cool concept. That's right. So like um I I like that Funko's doing newer things. Um let me ask you, how do you feel about the gold ones? If that's I, I believe that's what they're called, the newer ones now that sort of look like sodas but aren't sodas. Yeah. I mean that's the sodas I are I like the sodas, but I'm, I'm particular. I'm particular. I don't know how I'm gonna like the, the I don't know. And like uh I was just like they they just they look like adult sodas. Like if, the, if regular sodas were like soda kids or something like that, yep. and these gold ones just look like, hey, what if we just matured them a little bit? <laughs> and uh, I don't know. I don't know. Like every every like you state all the time, like collect what you want. I'm I'm never gonna hate on you for collecting something. Yeah. Just for me, it, it just makes me question. Like whose idea was this? How did this one get off the ground? I I wonder. I wonder. I, I think it, people ask, it, you know, why can't they do that? And it's like, I think people forget. I said, there's licenses. So whoever owns Seinfeld, Funko can make it, but it's got to get approved. They right. got to say, all right, we agree to it. Because people say for the company that I work for, they great ad icons. I said, 
You're right. It would be. However, I can tell you right now, knowing the company, they will never, ever approve it. Ever. You'll never see it. And I, I think it's the same way. I think when you get, um, they may have the license for Seinfeld for a certain time or the office and, right. you know, they got to just blow it up and go crazy. That, that, you know what? I've never thought about the, like the timed version of like a dealer or yep. like a deal that they would have. You're right. That, that would make sense why they're like, Oh, we only have Seinfeld for a year. Crank everything out right oh, now. Absolutely. Like that. I've never thought about that being a possibility. I, I but I, I do agree with you with the whole, uh the i guess the fan in all of us we always want this but like it's probably not as easy as we make it sound it, and it, I, it, I i know i we completely overlook that like there there are certainly people right now working for funko reaching out to these different people saying hey you have a very popular ip and what we would like to do is just make collectibles out of them and stuff and you're going to get people like no, 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 no. <laughs> or or you get people who, you know, I, 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 I'm pretty sure I've pieced together how making the molds and everything coming together. Like I watched uh, Hot Topic Nerdette a lot, yeah. and like she, she's talked about the process of getting one made. Like basically, they send them a picture of what it is that they want, uh, whether it be a moment or something like that, and then they, um, it, it Funko draws something up, yeah. and then they have to shoot that to the licensor, and if the licensor's like no, that whole thing gets scrapped now. So now we yep. have to start back at square one. So it, it, it seems like it's a very lengthy process. But I mean, as fans, I think we also have to take that, that into consideration. <laughs> like people have been asking for like Wanda from Endgame for oh, yeah. what feels like years now. And it's like, I'm pretty sure she's coming. It's just they probably when? just want to make sure that they get that mold right. Oh, like, yeah. You guys have been clamoring for it. They know you want it. It's just they're not. Uh, I don't want to say they'll put up nothing lazy. They they can, but like I think they will want to make sure that everything's really good with it and stuff like that. Yeah, absolutely. That's the only thing. But I, that's a very good point with having like a certain time. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure everyone's. I'm sure it's all different. I mean, yeah. we probably never know, but I know some. It's probably all you know. Certain amount of time here, certain amount of time there. I'm sure there's a couple years. I'm sure Seinfeld's just the tip of the iceberg. I'm sure they have it. I would guess two, three years, and, and they'll go crazy. In that time, we'll get. Oh right my! A bit. God. <laughs> there's, there's not a doubt in my mind. Yeah, but it, at least they're getting the good stuff. You know, uh, the soup Nazi out. Elaine with the sombrero is out, and you know, they Kramer. I mean, Matt, man, the mats they can do with Kramer is awesome. Right, right, right. But I know you, you're a big Nickelodeon guy. You've always wanted to see more Nickelodeon stuff. Oh, my goodness. There is so much that they can do. Or there's just things that they have they have done and they haven't finished. And, like, it it, it baffles me. And, like we, like, we were just saying, I don't know exactly what's happening when it comes to Nickelodeon. But I know you have Nickelodeon as a thing. Like, you guys yep. put out mystery minis. You put out different series from different TV shows. And really, I'm just waiting for like a few more of my favorites to be made. <laughs> and it, it sounds very selfish of me, but um, I, I made a video a while back where it, it's like a, a Dear Funko type video where I'm just like, listen, listen, there's these ones that you can make. I, you have the license. I'm assuming you have the license. Uh, it, it'd be dope if you made these ones. And it it's crazy that there's just certain ones that they kind of danced around. Yeah. Or they just haven't made yet, or they'd rather focus on certain ones, like like SpongeBob. There's an mm -hmm. abundance of SpongeBob Funko Pops, and I get yeah. it. SpongeBob is SpongeBob, you know what I mean. But dang, man, can we get Fairly Odd Parents? Can we get Jimmy Neutron? That's all I really want. Just those two. Those yeah, I mean, really Nick, Nickelodeon. I would say, man, I don't know what it was. it's probably like. Nickelodeon really owned like the the '90s, early 2000s was like oh, yeah. Nickelodeon's time frame. That was where. This was Nickelodeon. They they owned it. Exactly. And like they've hit so many good shows. They they've hit they Doug, Our Real Monsters, Angry Beaver, Cat Dog was a uh, one that yep. I didn't expect. And then you get to something like Rugrats, where they've only done Tommy, Chucky, a bit. and Jellicoe oh, and could've... Reptar. And I'm like, wait, there's almost there's, they could do a Rugrats. There's so much. You could do a Pop Town at the Rugrats house and have like Stu or the grandpa come with it. 
Uh, I remember a little Rugrat, bit about, Rugrats was so beloved. They're, and and the fact that they're coming back now with a new show on Paramount Plus, it's like, listen, what what what's happening over there, guys? You you can do it. I believe in you. I've seen you come up with some cool concepts and stuff. And um, as a Nickelodeon fan, like you stated, I am patiently waiting for <laughs> more things to come out of the Nickelodeon wheelhouse. And I know things are rumored to be coming from like Cartoon Network, which yep. is cool. Uh, Cartoon Network growing up was certainly the broadcasting network that I yep. watched the least out of like Disney and Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network. But I still hold some of those characters fondly and everything and the ones that are rumored to be coming out i'm like oh oh okay okay so they they have the power to still make me get excited about whatever is down the pipeline it's just please hurry <laughs> <laughs> that's what it comes down to and, and you know i mo movies too i think you know we're starting to at least around here movie theaters opening up I don't think there's anything necessarily. I don't. I don't know. I mean, it's like uh, what was the one that came out this week? There, another Saul movie, and I, it blew me away. Chris Rock was What's in. It? I haven't seen it. Oh, I thought you said it blew. No, me no, no, no. I know it. I know it came out in theaters, and it's like it just blew. Chris Rock doing a horror movie. Yeah. I I I don't get it. But whatever. I mean, hey, like. Sometimes stepping out of your wheelhouse, you can. Uh, hopefully, impress. he if, if anyone can do it, he could do it. Hopefully, he throws his little twist into it, and it's good. So I didn't know about the movie. He's the one who approached Lionsgate. Okay. I didn't know that this whole thing was basically his idea. Like it was his baby from conception yeah. to now releasing. I thought that was really cool. Like he approached them. He's like, "Listen, I'm a big fan of the Saw, Saw franchise. I want to do X, Y, and Z. How do you feel about it?" Like, I'll even write it. I'll help write it. And uh, I think that that's cool. I've yet to see it, but knowing that it came out this weekend, I've revisited the entire Saw franchise, at least what's available on HBO Max, which I think it was up to, like, six. I didn't even know that there were six Saw movies. And apparently there's two more that I just haven't seen. They're like, when did this happen? <laughs> when? Because I remember they, they, the they first were cranking them out. It, it's like the first one, it was people were like, whoa. The second one, people were like, ah, all right. And then it started to go downhill a little bit. And it was like, oh, this is getting a little out there. It was like the same with Final Destination, where the yeah. first one was like, whoa, okay. And then after a while, they started creating like Paranormal Activity and The Purge. And they just like, the first one was like, really good. Even the second one was, the second one, you could be like, this isn't, I mean, The Purge was different. And then they could go, oh, man, they're, they're off the rails with this stuff. Right, right. <laughs> they're off the rail. This is. There's too much. Are you excited for any movies coming out uh, for the remainder of I the year? Black Widow. I think I'm excited for Black Widow. I think that's going to get me. That'll be the movie I go back to the theaters for. Okay. Um, I, I mean, obviously, Fast and the Furious, which no matter that's, when that's they make the sequels or not. I mean, I thought when they made the third one in Tokyo Drift, I'm like, oh, man, what are they doing? But then Vin Diesel at the end, it's like, all right, all right. And then, then they kick it, ramp it up. And even with, uh, with the dude dying... Uh, which you know it's awful mm -hmm. um they're they keep cranking them out and they keep making them better and right i'm excited to see it i know he i guess he said they're gonna end it at 10. that's where he's he's they're done with it so one more one more to go after this if they don't go to space at number 10 i'll be highly upset <laughs> i'm waiting i made i made a joke a while back to one of my friends i was like listen they can't end the franchise until vin diesel gives this fantastic speech about what they need to do w with whatever villain that they're going up against. And somehow they build a ramp that shoots out of a volcano and shoots the G's through the car. And there's a race on the rings of, uh, I, I think Saturn's the one with the rings. Yep, yep. I, I haven't looked at my planet's uh, maps in a while, but if they don't do a race on the rings, I, I'm going to need to contact Universal personally and say, why was this not in this? And, and it's just, I think Vin Diesel for them is done, but they, they've already did what? Uh, Sean Hobbs. So you right. already have that out there and right. they want to do more. Now you're going to bring John Cena in. God knows where that could go. And so they, they, yeah, I think just Vin Diesel, maybe that crew is done, but I think you look back on, I mean, I mean, Tyrese and all them, no one would have ever thought they'd all come together like they did. Not and, at all. So good, but that one has me excited too. Yeah. Okay. I um I agree. Those two 
are certainly on the list of movies that I want to see for the rest of this year. Uh, Black Widow, I have such a weird relationship with this movie because I feel like it should have came out last year during the pandemic. Like, uh, you or Disney to- Plus, it should have, they should have, and Disney I get why they, it. And- I, I know why they, uh, it came out why they didn't. They said with her contract, because there's back end deals, if they do the Disney Plus, ah, okay, he has to okay it, and the money wouldn't be right, and the money would be different, and that was their big contractual thing. Now, apparently, uh, they worked it out because it's going to come theater and Disney Plus, but right. Disney Plus for for thirty bucks. I, so me, this whole time I was thinking, oh. It's so weird that you guys won't just put it on Disney Plus. Like, you know, you got everybody to buy it during the pandemic. We all purchased Disney Plus. We all could have sat down. Who, who, wouldn't, who would not pay 30 bucks for, I mean, people are going to pay 30 bucks for Black Widow. And, but like, I, I guess in the back of my head, I was like, I get it. It's a Marvel movie. Marvel movies make bank at movie theaters and stuff like that. It's just kind of scary. And now uh, in the times that we're in, I'm like, I don't know. If a Marvel it, movie can pull the same money that it used to pull, I, I don't. I don't know if it can. Even now, I mean, I, I mean, theaters are open, but theaters aren't open, open. And I right. don't know if we're gonna get theaters open, open this. I mean, even that the whole, if you get vaccinated, and I, I still think people are gonna stay away at least this year. And yeah. I think people are still gonna be scared of it. And I think theaters are still gonna, you know, okay, you have three seats, so these are gonna be open. So I don't, I don't know if they're gonna make bank like they did. I, I. It, certainly I, I not this it. year, like you stated. Certainly not this year. I, I can't see it, but I think they've they've swallowed the pill and realized, you know, if if we don't bring this out, we're gonna back up all these other movies aren't gonna go right. <laughs> exactly, and that that's that's where I kind of stand with it. I'm like, listen, as long as you guys don't delay it again, because you delayed it from, if I'm correct, like May of last year. Then it was yeah. supposed to come out like July of last year. Then they were like, no, 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 no. It'll definitely be out in November. November. And I was then, like, nope, all right, nope. cool. And they were like, psych, we're going to put it out in May. And then they delayed it again to July. And I'm like, just put it out. Just put it out <laughs> at this point. Like you guys, have, you ran the entire like promo for the movie. Like we've seen the trailers. There were action figures. I, it was so funny. Last year, I remember walking into like Wawa and they had her on Dorito bags. And they're like, win a ticket to see black widow i'm like when's that even gonna happen so i hope i don't win it's like they they blew the who was the other one like minions the same thing with them and i don't know when they postponed that but everything's it's all done i mean yeah. all the, the pops the toys the promotions always last year they, they can't redo it it's exactly it and it, it's so weird that that happened the way that it did and like you said it's like i get it these are big franchises and stuff like that. But like with big franchises come big fandoms, like people will shell out the funds to watch Absolutely. these movies. The amount of people that I know personally that shelled out money last year to watch trolls Two on, uh, you know, POV. And I was like, listen, just put the film out. Just what are you waiting for? <laughs> so now did you're that with on content. It with all, I mean, Ghostbusters. I'm excited. I'm all pumped to see Ghostbusters. Then, all right, we're postponing it. Uh, all right, March of this year. And then it's like, God, no, I don't even know when that's coming out. Right. Maybe the fall. Who knows? At some point, I guess they'll decide to finally let us grace our eyes on Ghostbusters Afterlife. I'm excited for that, too. I want to, I think it could go to, it's either going to be good or I'm going to like, I'm going to look at it and like, oh, they could have done so much better. Obviously, the one dude's dead, and I see, you know, this is his family. I get it, but it's are you? How are you going to get Bill Murray and everyone back into it? Right? Or are you? Are you? Are you just going to throw them out there a little bit, and that's it? You know. So we'll it's, see. It's it's certainly one of those, like you said, risky situations. While it is like a beloved franchise, they could certainly drop the ball. Like Men in Black, I think the last one was Men in Black International. Dropped the ball on that one, and it's. It, it's, there's just certain things that I guess fit the time that they came out and they're while it would be cool to remake them today and stuff like that. And Hollywood has certainly been on that. Well, you know. it, it's like they're out of Hollywood's out of ideas. What can yeah. you, do? you can't I make them like black they, without Will Smith and, and, and the other guy. You, just, you can't do it without Tommy Lee and Will Smith. That, no. That's just a th- like if uh, so I, I recently, with hitting 500 uh, neighbors, I, I did a Q&A 
and I'm still in the process of editing editing it because editing videos is <laughs> awful. It's very tedious and it, like everything's done on my phone. So like I'm just and uh, one of the questions that I got on there that was really fun to think about was if you could remake any movie, which one would you do? And like I state that I have five favorite movies of all time, and that's Brendan Fraser's Mummy, like the first one, mm. Back to the Future, mm. Goonies, the first Jurassic Park, and the first Men in Black. And going through that list, I'm like, Men in Black has already been redone. Uh, they tried to redo the Mummy with Tom Cruise, and that wasn't it. And then also uh, Jurassic World, they aren't my favorite. And in my personal opinion, they really haven't been as good as they could be from that first one. No. I, 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 stellar. I thought it was cool. I liked the first one that it was nostalgic that it went back and they got to see the old building, the right. door. I, I liked how they did that. I thought, all right, this isn't bad. Right. But then the last one was like, oh, God. This, what happened? This is boring. <laughs> And then, uh, so what, I, what are they, they going to do that. next? What are they going to do? How are they going to round up the dinosaurs running Stop through the new world? Oh my God. I, I, I don't know. And the fact that that movie also got pushed back by years. Oh yeah. It also makes me think they don't know what they're doing. They don't know what to do with it now. But, um, uh, Goonies and back to the future. Uh, I had said if I had the budget and I was able to, you know, pen the script or put it together, I was like, Goonies would be really fun if I was able to bring my friends in with me. Uh, or Back to the Future, I would have like my grandfather be my doc because the stories that he tells me about and stuff like that. I'm like, I would love to see these things firsthand. And when I said that, and like when I was editing the video, I was like, oh, but if they remade it today, there'd be some stupid stuff in there. And it's simply because they're like, we have to make it fit for today's audiences. And it's like, the originals still hold up. So. <laughs> I don't know what you mean by today's audiences, man. <laughs> I, I Those are just so classic 80 movies that, I mean, they just don't make movies like that anymore. Right. It, it, it's a shame. They were just a special, special movie. They were fun. They, they were. were just really fun. And um, you could see the love that was put in each one of these films. And you could see the fun that was had by the cast members and all that stuff. And, I, I don't know when Hollywood stopped doing it exactly. It was probably like towards the like the turn of the century yeah. where they just stopped dealing with practical effects. Because the practical effects go such a long way. <laughs> but they're oh, like, yeah. oh, we can just CGI everything now. And I'm like, you can. And don't get me wrong. It's dope to see Optimus Prime transform on screen. And I'm sure yeah. that would be a hell of a process to do with practical effects. But like, not everything has to be CG, man. I, I don't know. <laughs> and then, like, um, somebody, somebody, I think it, it might have been, like, my little sister or one of my little sister's friends. And they were like, you sound like one of those old people that are like, get off my lawn or back in my day. And I was like, you know what? It, it happens. I it, If it naturally comes out that way, just know that I'm passionate about it. That, yeah. That's what it is. It happens. Out. It, it does. Here we got Nick, Nick asking you a question. So he wants to settle something. He loves the Pop Savage intro, intro, but at the end it sounds like he says Bob with a B instead of Pop with a P. I never noticed that. Like when I say Pop Savage at the end? Like, yeah, I guess. It sound like, does it sound like Bob? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Thank you for pointing that out. Now that's all I'm going to hear whenever I watch one of the videos. <laughs> It's me, Bob Savage. <laughs> that like is an, that is an awesome. One. I really like that. that. That's catchy. That's great. That's great. Oh man! All right, all right. It might sound like that. Now I'm going to watch a couple <laughs> videos, and I'm just going to listen to it back. Let me ask you. Uh, so you know, we're almost halfway through the year. Yeah. So, like, do you think that there's been a pop of the year so far? Um. For me, oh, this is tough. Uh, for me, it's got to be, and I know it was released for pre-order last year, but it didn't come out the, this year. I got to go to Tony Stark and um, his daughter's two. Oh, oh, yeah, with the hol it looks how, like how that was done, and that you know, with with the hologram, and you leave it in the box. That for me is that's that's right there as, as one of the best. I got you. I got you. How about you? I didn't realize that we were almost halfway through until I looked at the calendar. 
And like on the calendar, I wrote <laughs> fun time with Luau tonight. And I was like, <laughs> oh, wow, it's May. It's almost it June. It is May. Um, so like recently, one that got announced that really took my breath away was the Aang that's, uh, that mm. has him with all the elements around him. And like, if, if you've seen the show, you know the scene, yep. and you know what's happening in that moment. And I think like, that's a it's six inch, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. And like, um, the it's gonna be it's gonna be so tough to get. I know, but the target one that glows in the dark, I think that one is certainly in the running for me for like pop of the year so far. Um, and when we saw with the box lunch uh, Earth Day one, and I think it'll restock, but that ang went nuts like that. Like that, I know personally. I think so. If that if that's my best pop of the year so far, um, you know, we we still have a couple more months to go. But I think though, I don't know if there's been a worse pop this year. But I, in my personal opinion, I think the most overrated one was Pietro off of the Funko Shop. The amount of hype that was around that Funko Pop, and I was like, listen, man. And they, they toyed with people's emotions. They, there's only a certain now whether they didn't have a lot or there was a production delay. Something maybe was right. at, at with it. We'll never know. But they only released so many. That's it. And they notify me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I just did. And I, my, I'm gonna guess when he comes back out, he's gonna be. There's gonna be a, a good bit of them. It'll be like the Tony the Tiger. If you want them and you get a shot at within the first like 30, 40 minutes, you're gonna be able to get them. Do you, let me ask you, do you like how Funko's been doing the blind drops and stuff? I think it helps people. It gives people a, a, a gives better shot chance. at it. Yeah. But, you I, know. I, I mean, I like the whole drop. Personally, there's nothing that's dropped that I've been interested in. So no. like, I've, I've never had to rush to grab anything. Like, the only thing that's coming out on the Funko shop that I, I want uh, as a Marvel collector, I want Hot Rocks from the Infinity Warps line. Nope. Yep. Excuse me, and uh, that one I'm certainly going to have to be on my toes for. But I do like their whole. Uh, we'll drop it randomly at eleven thirty. Eleven thirty. We're going to do twelve thirty on this one. Maybe twelve on this one because right. they're never going to prevent the computer bots that they've already. You know, they don't. I don't. They don't care. In the essence, they don't care. Yeah. They're selling their product. That's what. It, that's what their mentality. Exactly. Is. exactly. I, I think they're giving people a better shot at it. So I think it's it's good. I dig it. I dig it. Uh, like you said, there's really no way to combat bots and stuff. They're they're there. It's it's something that you accept when you come into this community it, and it, this hobby. It started but, um, in the sneaker game, and now it's into the toys and and other games. So as so, I I, I remember you speaking about that like uh, when you went live with like Beard. Mm -hmm. The sneaker game. I can only imagine how bad it is for that. Like when it comes to bots and like reselling it's, the sneakers. It's not like it used to be. It was a lot worse because if you want to choose back in, I mean, we're probably, I'll go back eight years. Okay. When you started to have people like dying for sneakers. I mean, literally being run bum rushed over in malls for uh, the phone beside galaxies and the Jordans. I mean, it was, it was crazy. Right. Um, back then. Yeah. It bots were like, if you wanted a shoe, you got to have a bot to go after it. That's wild. Or you're not going to get it. That's wild. And that was before like StockX where you could buy on the secondary market instead of having to go to eBay. But Okay. The okay. sneaker game is it's it's t it's toned down a little bit now. Mm -hmm. I think you have the initial hype of that day or the, that week and then it dies down. Right. right. And you know, you can get the shoe for 20, 30 bucks over what you pay over, you know, retail if you really want it. Right. Cuz like you said back in the day on eBay, those things probably soared. Oh my goodness. I can only because like pe the the prices that people throw on Funko Pops, and those are just little plastic toys that you're just gonna display mm -hmm. shoes that you're gonna wear out and whatnot. It, mm -hmm. Oh my, yeah, my, you, were, you would buy. I mean, back in the the hype of Yeezy, you would buy oh, man. a Yeezy for two hundred dollars, and you're flipping it instantaneously eight nine hundred dollars, just like that. And the thing is, people were paying it. People were saying it. That's what it is. It's that FOMO that, that man, I need I to be it. part of this. And you see it sometimes with video games. I think we saw it with PS5. Oh, and yeah. Xbox was this year. Absolutely. And I think COVID hurt, hurt that because even now I don't see, I don't think they're like readily available in stores. I think it's all due to COVID, but oh, people were going, oh, I got to get my son the, the video game system. I'll pay double. Mm -hmm. And like even taking it back more, just talking about like the, 
I guess bots weren't used because you physically had to go get them from what I remember seeing on the news and stuff. But like as a kid, I remember Tickle Me Elmo came out. Oh my goodness. People were like flipping those like it were like hot cakes. And like I remember that being the biggest thing that was on news, on the news that oh tickle me elmo sold out everywhere. <laughs> well, little, remember little penny? Remember they had a little penny doll that, that that was like a big thing one year. Yes. And off the shelves they off. went. I remember working at GameStop and the year that I was working there. There were these little like little monkeys that little kids were like putting on oh, their yeah. feet. And they were sold out everywhere. And parents got mad at us as the employees. They were like, well, how do you not have it? I'm like, ma'am, before you came in here, I've never even heard of this thing. It, we're a game store. I, we don't have little monkeys that go on your finger. I'm so sorry for you. Well, I, I remember sitting outside of a Toys R Us, and this is, I mean, probably like four years ago, maybe five. In the cold, it was like, it was December for a ticket to buy some kind of flipping Hatchimal thing for, for the daughter. Oh, I, the amount of things that happened over All the right, last it, like, it 10 hatched. years. Are you tell me that that's it? What do we put it back in the egg and it hatches again or what? No, that's it. Jeez. <laughs> I, the amount of, the amount of like fads that have come out over the last like 10 years is crazy to look back on but right. it's also the elmo the i mean the wii when the wii came out that was insane i mean heck i can go back man i remember super mario brothers 2 one christmas which was like really hard we would we would get tickets it was like children's palace or toys there'd be like tickets in it and you didn't have to take it to the stand to get the game i remember we were hide the tickets really they don't have a ticket they, they'll, they'll keep a copy oh yeah wow yeah it was great i mean that wild. was wow that was like that might have been the 90 that might be 89. i i had no clue that that's what it was like back then oh yeah super mario brothers 2 was crazy everyone had to have it yeah, I, it's it stood the test of time so i mean it's not like all that waiting was for nothing oh yeah <laughs> slap shot pop sand high slap shots i had the i had the pleasure of being in a video with he and money uh this past week Yes, I saw that. It was good. That, that was a fun time. Fun time. John's yeah, John's a, a, John's, John's, John's a good dude. Yeah, yeah. Been, uh, been a subscriber to him for a little bit now. And uh, I, I just enjoy the content that is coming out of this community. It, it's it's dope that everybody has a different voice. Mm -hmm. and you're never going to hear the same val like views on another video. And I think that's great. And it gives everybody a spot in the community. Yeah, everyone has their own little niche. They do it a little differently. You know, you, there's always going to be the drama. That's just, <clears throat> it's the nature of the beast. It's just what it is. And Right. But yeah, everyone does different stuff. I mean, you, you look at John, I think with his Funko World News Worldwide, I think is a great, great segment that he does. And uh, <laughs> it's all. It's, it's and awesome. everything. Perfect. <laughs> and he, he incorporates Legos, he incorporates the hot toys, things like that, which he even you know, talks I mean, about movies and stuff. So like absolutely. that's awesome and then I love the food thing that he does with the fiance. I think that's really cool. Yeah. So, yeah. There's there's always something exciting to see in this community. Which um th this has been my first hobby that I've ever taken part of. Yeah. So like growing up in the nineties and like early two thousands. Um, I never got hooked on like Pokemon and I, I'm still not hooked on Pokemon. Yeah, I don't, I never, I, it, it was before my, it was after my time and then I totally missed it. I don't get it. I was there when it happened and I still didn't get it. <laughs> um, like, uh, I've had my girlfriend school me on how Yu-Gi-Oh works and all that. And it's, it's just wild to know <laughs> that there's just things like that, that I just don't get. Yeah, I don't don't it to see people get hype over the cards and uh like that's even cool. Like I know Savage does that. Yeah. And, uh, Savage does the whole like opening the packs of cards. And for for a little bit there, it seemed like everybody started doing the whole I'm gonna Oh, oh well, yeah, of course. It, it's a new fad. Let's do it. And you could tell people that knew it and people that didn't. I thought no one did it better than Beard did it. It, it was like when he was on that video and I'm like, Oh, I can't believe I got watched. There's no way. Right. Oh my God. And then he gets out the gloves and then he, at the end of the video, you really think he's did it. And then he's like, do you think I did that? Come on. 
he sold that was it. Awesome. Though. He certainly sold it, and I was like, oh, oh yeah, you got me. You pranked me. You got it. I know he takes it. It takes his son to it. I think his son's into it, and you know he goes. <laughs> he you could tell Beard don't understand this. He's like, oh, I don't understand what the hell this is. No. <laughs> And that's perfectly fine. Like, I also enjoy hearing people talk about it. It's just, just oh, yeah. I'll never flip over a card and be I, like, wow, I, man. I get I a kick out of watching the people this. open the pack. Okay, three there, one there. I, I think it's cool. I think it's great. And they love the names of the people. And it's like, it just means nothing to me because it's, it's, I don't get it. So one of the, one of the blessings that I found with the move that we did uh, here in Orlando, there's like a lot of local comic book shops around. And in Jersey, we didn't really have a lot of those uh, for whatever reason. But uh, I went with one of my absolute best friends to a comic book shop. And he was looking at all the Pokemon cards. And he's like, oh, is that a holographic Zapdos? And I was like, Najee, what the hell does that thing do? And he's like, oh, it's, it's one of the legendary birds from the, from, from like the, uh, t what, what's it, what is it? Tenno? K Kino? What? Uh, now Dia doesn't know, but it was like the <laughs> like red and blue. He's like, yeah, they were legendaries for like this specific time of Pokemon, and like, can you? But um, I was I was just so lost. I was like, I don't know yeah. what this is. And then the guy, like the owner of the comic book shop, he starts talking about, it, and I'm like, oh man, you don't say, <laughs> <laughs> and uh. It's it's just something that I don't know if I'll never get the grasp of it or I just simply have not put in the time. Like when Pokemon Go came out, oh, I was out there. I was walking. Oh, I was yeah. Teaching, uh, what were they called? Like rat attack? I, I mean, I, I got it. All right. Let's 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 drive here. All right. You got something there? All right. I, that was I fun. It. Yeah. And then they were like, oh, well, let's play the card game, Kevin. And I went, no, 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 no. <laughs> I can't do that. I <laughs> Yeah, I don't lose me. Yeah, it's lost. It's lost on me. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So, uh, are you more excited for SDCC or NYCC this year? I think you see a lot. I mean, I'd love to go to SDCC, mm -hmm. but you know, being across that it's across the U.S. That's that's a huge trip. Yeah, and that's a massive amount of people. It's not saying New York's not, but nycc would be one that would be you know i'm right there it's not too far away from me i could make it an event uh and then you, you get to see people on the east coast you know beer would probably right. be there i mean savage would probably go a couple other people and uh i think it'd be cool mm -hmm. and what happened will it you know it's i don't i don't know it's it's i'm not sold that it that it's going to happen this year or be to a caliber that it it's worth the the trip and the investment to do it right right i um like i remember when they recently came out and they were like and ycc is happening and i was like is it mm. is it or like are you guys going to tell us later that there's a cap on the amount of people that can go and stuff like that because i'm assuming that's going to be part of it and a lot of people weren't thinking about that they were just like wow and ycc is back and i'm like yeah but there's probably now a limit on how many I, I would think there'd be a limit. How are they going to do it? Uh, are they going to play the whole, if you're vaccinated, how are they going to, you know, there's a, so many lo logistics to it. And I mean, normally they start selling tickets, I think, you know, June, July. Yeah. So they're, they're at that. And New York is still not open. Like a lot of places are. Right. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm cautiously excited to see what they do with the cons for the rest of the year. Uh, as for Funko, I'm excited to see what they're going to drop because this year they're kind of two for two on like personally what I think were good cons and like good exclusives and stuff like that. Um, I don't see them dropping the ball on either of the big cons like ECCC oh, I thought awesome. was really good. And then WonderCon, I was like, wow, there there's some there's some good there's some heat here, too. So I, I can only imagine what they're going to bring out for SDCC. And then and you got to think all the stuff for SDCC and the fun days and everything was probably already made last year. It's probably sitting somewhere. I mean, maybe they decide this is the year we let it go. The Freddy and God knows all the Freddy stuff that, that's out there. <laughs> I That's true. Because there was certainly supposed to be something last year. And they were like, I guess we'll just sit on it. Whatever. Yeah, I think I think what I think there's a some overseas or Shanghai Freddy that's coming out. People get, I mean, people love their Freddies. I'm not a huge Freddy person, mm -hmm. but I mean, it's cool. 
I respect the mascot, but I, I don't have any Freddies in my collection. I might have like two. Okay. I think two. Yeah, two. Are they any of like the Fun Days ones or? I have a, a Freddy as Count Chocula and a Freddy as um, 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 um Pennywise. Okay. Well, not bad. Not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I know John Slapshot. He's a huge Freddy guy. I know he how much he loves him. Mm hmm. He. He's another one like you where collection just right here in the back. Oh, yeah. 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 I, love watching, I love seeing his Star Wars stuff. I think that's cool. Yeah. yeah. That's a rabbit hole I, I'm, I knew I'd never go down. I love Star Wars. Nah, not a rabbit hole. At no point did you ever start Star Wars and then you, like, you backed out or you just never attempted yeah. Star I, I knew it was it was too way, way, way too many. And I, I pick and choose. Like, you know, there's uh, – I have some Ahsoka's up there because I think she's going to be once that show and Rosario Dawson comes out, they're going to go bananas. Yeah, yeah, and she was really good in the role too. Oh yeah, yeah. I know, I know they came out with a hot toy over, and that was like an instant. Oh, I got to have that. I'll pre-order that. That's an that's another like I know you have them, and like mm. I was watching the live stream before I was brought on, and to see the sideshow, oh, collections and. The prices on them and stuff like that. Ooh, cool. It makes me so happy that I only collect Funko Pops. It, it is a I, I know I think you know Slapshot has gone through. I, I know uh, Professor Josh has bought a few. I know Beard's talked about them, but he he's Beard's not going down that. Bit. He's not going down the rabbit. It, it's a rabbit hole because if you get one and you hold it and you look at the detail, you're blown away. It's like mm. a piece of art, and you're like, you know, the, the four hundred dollar Iron Man that's metal, and you get it. All right, I can understand. I can see it, man. This thing is beautiful. Right, and it's a deep rabbit hole and an expensive one. And they, like you said, they just look so good. Oh, they do. And like I get it, I get it. But sheesh, wait a second, <laughs> wait a second. And like even even like I know Beard. Uh, I don't know if he he'll admit it, but he was certainly the person that introduced me to like super plastic and stuff. Yep. And like he he was pretty much the kind of forerunner of that. He really, when you look back at, I think, and I, I mentioned it to him. I said, you know, you really were the one talking about janky and super plastic, right? Really, before anybody. And like even those can kind of get pricey, but they look dope. They, they do look dope. And uh, I, I I don't know, I don't know. I feel like one of these days I'm going to need something other than Funko. <laughs> and now I'm just I'm at that point where I'm kind of weighing my options on what's about to get my money. I found like, um, have you ever uh, seen like Q figs? Yes. Q figs are dope too, and they're like they're not, not too pricey. They're not too pricey. They're they affordable. They have like that Avatar Ang one that just recently yep. came out where he's like airbending and Momos with them, and I was like, that's dope. Okay, that's and cool. th this is kind of in my price range. Listen. Yeah, they're not out. They're not outrageous. Figs. They're not outrageous, and then you can get into you know like Star Wars Black Series. I have some Black Series. I like. That's not bad. And then the Marvel Legends and stuff like that. Marvel that, Legends, people go a little crazy for them, but they're out there. And you know, you collect what you like. Collect what you like. Yeah, I mean, I, I tell people, people ask about uh, how come we don't see the hot toys, and it's like, I think it's a niche market. And I said it's a hard thing to say, you know, I mean, for people that do it right, and I know he, yeah, what's his name, gets a lot of heat. Um, Jetta Patrol gets a lot of heat. But he does it right. He's got the camera that he's down here and here, and he edits – the way and it looks fabulous right that's not my bag <laughs> i'm not gonna ever do it that way it's not me it's not me you got it, you got it. that's your I can't do a hot toy justice is showing you off i mean one sits i mean there's one that sits right there mm. and i have them for display they're more my you know i'll show them off and show you people the here's the box or here's what it comes with and right i uh, enter bay is another one for people who love sports figures enter bay is like the hot toy for sports guys okay and it's like it gets a little weird though, because you got it. It's like a doll. You literally got to dress this thing. I mean, it comes as like a naked dude. You know, not really? like. Oh yeah. I don't. I don't have here. I actually have one. I'll show you. <laughs> and these are just ones that I keep for my own personal. But this is like, uh, you know, okay. going back in the day. Going back in the day. Okay. A little Scotty Pippen, but you get. So he comes with all the hands and stuff like that. Okay. But then, you know, you got to get his clothes and his, you know, they even come with his little his little, little gym shorts underneath his other shorts you got to put on. <laughs> and this is what threw me about these characters. It's like, oh, this is a little out there. This, this is like, 
it's basically a naked dude and you gotta dress him. Oh man. <laughs> they said we want you to also be part of the experience. Yeah, I was like, man, this is a little I mean hot toys at least aren't quite that like that, but right, right. I never even knew that there were ones for athletes and whatnot. That's and and it, it's 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 made. I think it's China or Japan. Enter Bay is the name, but yeah, it's like the sports stuff, and they do like I mean Kobe and and MJ and Pippen, Rotten. Yeah, they got Iverson. I think they made an Iverson. They made a Steph Curry. Okay, and okay. they're detailed. They're really really cool and not. Well, yeah, they're pricey. I it's, I can it's imagine like, it's the hot toy level. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> it's a hot toy level. They send you a naked figure. It's got to be expensive. Oh, yeah, yeah. People get a kick because it got the different change of clothes. And it's like, you're getting a little bit too much like a doll for me. <laughs> a little bit too much like a doll. Right, right. I just. I, I, I like to go back. Day. I go back to, uh, I know Beard does the older, you know, Transformers that they bring back. And that yeah. brings back so many memories. And I sometimes I try to find like the old toys back in the day, and you know, Mask and Transformers and Voltron. And I follow a, a a gentleman. I believe he goes by Mad Hatter here on YouTube, and like he's deep into like the the NECA. Uh, oh yeah. That's the, and like he's 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 big on like the Ninja Turtles and stuff like that. And to see those figures and how detailed they can be and stuff, I'm like, wow. Oh Listen. yeah. If 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 I had the the space and I had the um, the funds for it, I would fall down so many rabbit holes because <laughs> of the collection. And and like you said, it, it mostly comes down to nostalgia. It yep. comes down to seeing my favorite movies or favorite TV shows, j just in a little bobblehead form and stuff like that. But and they they made stuff right back in the the eighties and even the nineties. They made the stuff. So much better than they make it today. I mean, I look back at Voltron because I, you know, I just bought a, a, you know, an older one from like '85, and it's like it's all diecast. And today they wouldn't be diecast. It, it'd, it'd be plastic. It'd be plastic. It'd be plastic. Yeah. Voltron. We, oh, uh, yeah. we. Uh, so the the shop that I went into with my friend, they they have maybe like seven or eight aisles, and in each aisle is like a different fandom. And then in the last aisle, it was like Power Rangers, Ninja Turtles, and Voltron. And I was just seeing some of the older toys and stuff. And I'm like, oh, yeah. These things, like as a kid, to play with something like this, this is this Voltron comes up to my hip. Yeah. Like, this thing is huge. <laughs> yep. So I, I see what you mean by they just don't make them like they used yeah, to. No. Or even, even look back at G.I. Joe. And I remember, man, I, I, I was always on my mom to get me the, 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 the carrier ship, which, you know, took up my whole, take up my whole room. I'd say they don't make anything like that these days. That, and uh, I know, I know I've heard Beard talk about like, I didn't grow up watching it, but Masters of the Universe, something with a, uh, I believe it's called Castle Grayskull. Oh yeah. It yeah. Is, man, I remember having that and the whole set. And I was like, and then I looked it up because I was interested. I was like, let me see this thing. And man, the the amount of stuff that was happening back in the 80s oh, yeah. is they, astounding. They after the universe stuff. I, I remember oh, I remember Cla Castle Gray Skull, and then I wanted the the um oh the Skeletor one, but that was bigger. My mom never bought me that one. Okay. And then you go to KB Toys and all these older stores and the figures and the vehicle they were fabulous and that it's like KB toys I'm now they're trying to bring them back out but some of them i know beards have seen it it's, it's that ain't quite right <laughs> <laughs> it don't quite look like that but they try yeah yeah i a for effort a for effort yeah, they give them an a for effort it's just and i mean they're feeding off the whole nostalgic thing right right and that's such a a useful tool nowadays to, to feed off of that nostalgia. Oh, go back in the go back in the vault and bring it back, and then like Patty's saying, you know, Castle Grayskull, they brought out, uh, you know, I think like an updated version, but they wanted like five six hundred bucks for it, and it's like, I mean, new back in the day was, I don't even think it was a hundred, but, that, and they know people, they think they did it with um, Thundercats too, the one vehicle they're bringing it back out, and you know they're saying like four hundred five hundred bucks for it. They figure well the collectors that 
that look at that nostalgic are right now in their late 30s, early 40s. Right. And they'll spend that kind of money. And it's like, I get that thought, but like still, that don't mean you got to gouge people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Especially like you said, like back in the day, it could have been like a hundred bucks. You were still getting a hundred bucks and everything, but to slap like five times that price on it when. And you it, know, it's not made as good. It's it, it, there's a chance that it's not. <laughs> it's, it's a high probability that it's not it, made it, as well. It, it's like, it's like sneakers. I mean, beard have talked about it. It's like, you know, it's cool seeing the Jordans remade today that were made back in the late eighties, the nineties when we were kids, but the Jordans of that day, the make and the materials are so much better than what, what they do now. Right, right, right. And I guess that just comes down to trying to cut corners, but also cash in on nostalgia. But then you get people like you who are like, you tried it, you tried it, but you didn't get me this time. <laughs> no, no, I said, you know, there, and there's some I will go for just because it's a, such a special sneaker. Mm. You know, my son will be like, are you going to wear them? I said, no, I can't wear them. What do you mean? I said, I said they're not comfortable. I mean, back in the day, they're, you know, they were state of the art. But, you know, that's 20 some 30 years ago. Right. No, it's not a comfortable shoe. It's it was a hot shoe. It wasn't air. I said, no, I wear the new stuff. But, you know, it's an art piece for me. I like to look at it. Yeah. Yeah. This is <laughs> Once this or twice a year, I get it out and I'll wear it. Right. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> well, we are to that time, man. It's getting late. I didn't know it was 1130. We just kept oh. going and going and going. Time flies when it you're does. having fun. <laughs> it does. It does. Awesome. Well, hey, you take us out. Anything you want to promote? Anything you want to tell people about? Um, if you if hello everybody, if you wouldn't mind, uh, my channel is available for viewing pleasures. Uh, I do fun things like fantasy casting, so uh, superhero films, or now people want me to do Disney films, where basically I just say, I think this person would be really good in the role. Um, I've recently come up with a schedule that I'm going to try to stick to. Um, don't hold me to that. I'm going to try, <laughs> though. Uh, but I have things coming down the pipeline with, like, tier list. Um, I want to do uh, March Madness brackets. I did one for Disney films uh, in March. It was and a good it, one. I liked it. It like was really it. fun, and I found a couple more that would be cool to do and interact with people on with. And uh, I don't there. There's just a lot of cool stuff in store. So if you wouldn't mind visiting Mr. Stone's neighborhood here on YouTube uh, and become a neighbor, that'd be great. You can follow me on music by follow me on Instagram at music by Snowden. I usually do interactive things like on my story where I do polls or something like that, just to you know interact with everybody. But other than that, and if people want to check out the music. Oh, if you want to check out the music, uh, it's available everywhere, including YouTube, if you just wanted to check it out there. The albums are called Oddball, and the second one is called Plus Ultra. You can find it on Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal, everywhere that uh, you probably have a, a subscription to. Please give it a listen. I hope that you find something that you like. It's, it's um, uh, from what I've been told, it's a nice little throwback to like an older hip-hop, and that warms my heart. <laughs> so, <laughs> if, you, if you have the time check it out other than that, that that's me that's me awesome well guys thanks for coming to join us mr stone's neighborhood check it out have you guys self a wonderful safe week and we will see you live next sunday from uh jt's funko finds from the land down under in australia she's gonna come join me so it should be a lot of fun have a wonderful week guys and uh we'll see you again soon have a good one